Friends, good morning, happy Saturday. Okay, it's just gonna take a little getting used to, right? We'll get there. Something looks different. We'll get there. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday, friends. I'm just checking out the chat. Uh, hello. Oh, Jerry, I just saw this. Jerry said hello from Utah, my first time watching live. Hello, Jerry, welcome, welcome to you. Hi, guys. Hi, happy Saturday. Oh, uh, come on, Lily YouTubes. Let me know if you're here. Let me know if you are here. Uh, if you're in the chat, say hi. If you're not in the chat, pop in the chat and say hi if you're watching live. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, okay, so here we are. So Terry can see me, good. All right, friends, so we're gonna have lots of chatting here at the beginning. <clears throat> okay, hang on, I gotta just get the, the angles all weird. It'll just take me a little, it'll take a little bit of time to get it all figured out, right? Hi friends, happy Saturday. So, welcome. Welcome to a brand new little, yeah, I'm gonna have to still play with this a bit. We'll, we'll get there, don't worry. Don't get there. I mean, we'll get, don't get there. We'll get there, don't worry. Um, good morning, friends, happy Saturday. I hope that you are um, staying cool. It is, I don't know, I heard something earlier this week. There's like more than 100 million people in the US right now that are under heat advisories. So um, it's some crazy time right now. I also read somewhere that people, oh, flocking as much as you're gonna flock to, but people are flocking to um, Death Valley because the highest temperature, I don't know if it's the highest temperature there on record or what it is, but it's supposed to be about maybe 130 this weekend. So that is crazy, 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 crazy. So wherever you are, I hope that you are finding ways to stay cool. And it may just be that you're here with me to beat the heat today because um, we're gonna craft. I'm going to craft. Uh, you may be crafting with me. You may be doing, I don't know, one of a lot of different things. Some of you craft with me, some of you list with me, some of you are working or cleaning or reorganize, reorganizing your scrap space, craft space, um, whatever it is, welcome. Uh, I will jump into the chat uh, here in just a second, but let me do this. If you are brand new, welcome, or if you've just stumbled to stumble. I'm, I'm tending to put two words together today. If you've stumbled across, stumbled. If you've just stumbled across uh, this video or my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Lael Konkar and I have a business called Lael by Mail. Uh, on Saturdays, we are here on my YouTube channel when I am not traveling and we do what I like to call creative listing. So. Um, a couple days before I publish three or four, it just kind of depends, different listing topics. And on Saturdays, I get out all my fun things to play with and I make lists. Um, on the surface, that's what I'm doing. I'm making lists, but really what I'm doing is creating, um, mem I'm creating time capsules. I am memory keeping, I am documenting, I'm storytelling. Um, I'm basically telling my story, but in a really different way because it's just a list, right? So for example, uh, today, one of the things on our list, um, it, uh, one of our lists is things that, what is it? Uh, things on my to-do list that aren't getting done. Um, sometimes we do things I love. Sometimes we do things I hate. Sometimes we do um, all the pets I've had. So it just really depends. And we've done um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. So we're um, past our third year of doing this. But I always say it's like a time capsule because it's a very different way of documenting you without a lot of pressure because pretty much everybody can sit down and make a list, right? Um, really the only thing that you need if you're joining me um, and wanna make a list is something to write with and something to write on. Everything else is just icing on the cake. So um, those two things are what you need and I encourage you if you normally don't list with me to take one of the topics today and list with me. Um, if you are new or newer, this is all brand new. Uh, I, this has been a project in the works for, oh my gosh, probably years, <coughs> excuse me, but I'm really in the works probably for the last three months. So I completely had, um, well, I had my craft room, uh, office space, studio, whatever you want to call it, um, completely redone. So I had custom built-ins put in, um, it'd been years of thinking about what I wanted. I, um sold all my Ikea furniture that I'd been using and um, it's just now I'm very excited to have a new space to work in. Um, this is the first day that I'm actually working in here. Uh, I did a What's New Wednesday in here, but that was just kind of show and tell. On um, Monday night, I did a class. I did the Hello Sunshine mini book class. 
but nothing was in here other than the cabinets. Um, even, I guess the base of my work surface was here, but the countertops hadn't been put in yet. So Nick had to like jerry-rig this two by four thing for me so I, you know, had a place to work. Um, so this is the first time. I have about half of everything put back again. So we're crossing our fingers that uh, what I have put back in is what I need for today. If not, we'll just wing it, right? Uh, okay, I'm gonna um, check the chat really quick and just see who's here. And then uh, we'll talk about some housekeeping items, schedule and a couple of other things. And then we will get to listing, okay? So hang on, uh, let me just see. Oh, really quickly, um, I will do a studio tour, craft room tour, whatever it is, once I get everything put back in. So we're probably looking, I'm gonna say at least two more weeks and I'll do it here on YouTube. Um, I'll probably do it live, but then you can, you know, watch after the fact. So we'll do a full walkthrough of the room and where everything is and how I'm storing things and organizing and all of that. Um, hi, Roberta and Kelly and Ms. L. Gabby, good morning. Prim and Planning, good afternoon. Prim and Planning, where are you? Tell us, tell us. I know I saw Martine. Martine is Netherlands, and so it's, you know, much later in the day for her. Uh, Mary Lee, good morning. Happy Saturday from hot Sacramento. Um, Julie is hot, hot California. She had to get up to walk the dog at seven before it got too hot. Yes, I hear that. Um, well, we don't have a dog, but uh, their little pads, you have to be very careful because even though it might be like 85 in the middle of the day, um, the, the asphalt's really hot. So if you have a dog, you probably know that, right? I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Um, Jackie and Henderson. Oh, I bet, Jackie. I bet it's pretty stinking hot there. Uh, Wanda, good morning. Oh, it's rainy in Nashville, so it's probably rainy and humid and wet. Um, all, the word that a lot of people don't like, moist, but it's very moist in, in Nashville. Um, so good reason to be inside, right? Good reason to be inside. Uh, hi, Paige from Oregon. Um, Ter Tracy, I love it. Tracy was welcoming uh, Jerry and said, welcome to your new addiction. Uh, it's certainly my addiction. I love our Saturdays together. You guys know that. Hi, Justine. Nice to see you. Uh, Carolee said, love the new look. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, from <laughs> Elizabeth said, hello from Hades. I mean, Texas, right? Um, oh, I'm sure we could get the temperatures. I don't even know. I think here it's supposed to be um, like maybe 95, 96 today, which is not bad considering we have very, very dry climate. So not much humidity at all here in Utah, northern Utah. So um that makes it a little bit more manageable. Uh, those of you that have those temperatures but have your humidex, it's you know super high, then I don't know how, uh, props to you, because I don't know how you do it. You probably just don't leave the house, right? Um, yes, uh, new cabinets, new everything. Everything in the room is new. Well, not, not everything. I mean, all of these things I've had. Uh, you just haven't seen them before. They've been in other parts of the house. I also have new lights. So I'm very excited about um, the studio lights. They are, um, they're LED lights now, so they should not be anywhere near as hot as my other ones. My other ones had um, each light, there were two of them, had four um, bulbs that were probably about this big and maybe this long, and they put out an incredible amount of heat. So when you're um, going through that stage of life, when it's your own personal summer, 365 days a year, and then you add heat like that, not so good. So we're also trying the new lights out today. It's kind of a, let's try everything today. Um, thank you, Kelly. Kelly said, congrats on your refreshed space. Yes, very, very excited about it. Um, it is, well, you guys know, um, well, let's see. I, four years, a little over four years ago, uh, left my job with Simple Stories. I'd been working there for six years and turned my side hustle uh, into a full-time thing, which is lay all by mail. Um, at that time when I did that, I didn't have a website. Uh, I was primarily um, doing project kits, mini book project kits, and I was selling them from my blog, and that was very cumbersome. And um, so I put together a website about, I don't know, maybe six weeks after, and then was still doing project kits and some traveler's notebooks, and that was it. And then pandemic hit, and then the whole, everything changed, right, for lots of us. But everything with my business changed, and um, I would have had been in the past traveling a ton and teaching, and obviously that came to a screeching halt. Uh, during the pandemic and I started doing things live on YouTube. And so um, what had been working for me for a really long time in my craft space uh, really wasn't working anymore because things were everywhere and not really, not that they weren't organized well, it's just they were sometimes hard to get to. So um, it's probably been about three years ago that I started saying, okay, it's going to, it needs to happen, it's going to happen, but um, just took a little bit of time. And it was when, I, I, I don't even dare say this, knock on wood, it went flawlessly. Uh, 
Cabinets were installed uh, Monday and Tuesday, so two days. Uh, countertops installed Wednesday, so three days. Uh, three days and done, which was uh, amazing, 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 amazing. So I'm very, very, feel very fortunate and blessed that um, I've been able to do this because um, even this, you guys, all of, all of my new room, all of that, I wouldn't be able to do without you guys and your support, so thank you. Um, okay, let's see. Wanda said she just sits and watches, which is awesome. You guys do all different kinds of things. Um, some of you clean, some of you tell me that your families feel like they know me because um, you can hear my voice throughout your house because you're listening, you know, on the TV or something. And um, that I always get a kick out of that. I always get a kick out of too. Um, they'll say, oh, you'll say your, your voice is so calming. And I'm like, oh my goodness, talk to my family because they would say not at all. Not at all. Um, hi, Julianne Bennett from Hot and Human Nova Scotia. Jane, nice to see you. I love that you said that too. Um, Jane said, hi, Lail, your new digs are amazing. Use in good health and joy. Thank you. Hope you got the card I sent to your PO box. Oh, if you guys ever send me anything uh, via mail, um, goes to my PO box. And usually I check it about once a week. So Jane, I have not checked it. Um, I will get there this weekend though for sure. Thank you. Thank you ahead of time. Um, let's see. Um, Wanda said, your new room looks so grown up. Yes, no, don't get me wrong. I loved the Ikea furniture I had. It was amazing, but it was it was just time. It was time for me. So Elizabeth, 109 there yesterday. That's insane. Aunt Recreates is also in Hades, Texas. Uh, humidity in Central Texas, 84. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's crazy. Mitzi is walking her grand dog in Cottonwood Heights, where I live, so I love that. Um, and on our way back to list. Okay, friends. Um, La Quinta, oh my goodness, Johanna, it's 115. That is nuts, nuts, nuts. Uh, Wanda said her room is a terrible mess and she has too much stuff. Um, yes, yes, same, same, Wanda. I'm right there with you uh, because it took a while to get everything cleared out of the room because everything had to be out so the cabinets could be installed. Um, and there were lots of different piles, uh, piles to throw away because there were some things that just, you know, had to be thrown away. Uh, piles that um, get donated. I have a um, teacher that I um, donate lots of things to, so it goes a lot of things go to a school. Uh, so for the teachers to either use for their own personal use if they want, or you know in class. Um, and then there's lots of giveaway bins, you guys, and a huge bag. I'm not kidding you. Probably a huge bag like this full of washi, um, all from my stash. That I'm like, what? Who am I kidding? I'm not going to use this. Um, so. Those little giveaway things go in your orders. Uh, you just kind of watch for it and um, you may see one, you may not, but over time um, you'll see one. So uh, you always know because there's a little sticker on it that says thanks for your order. So a little bit of happy mail, but that's what um, that's what I do with um, the things. I just pass it forward, pass it on, pass it forward. Okay, friends. Um, hi, Pam, nice to see you. Um, okay. So here's our plan. Uh, let's talk about um, some housekeeping items. So today we'll be doing four lists. Uh, Terry, there is no time limit because I know you always um, ask that and I love that. You always keep me on track. There are a number of you. Terry always keeps me on track. Colleen always reminds me about um, turning on or uh, plugging in my camera. So I love that you guys are always there helping me. Uh, so no limit today, four lists. Um, We'll probably be, I don't know, I, I don't know, who knows, who knows how long we'll be. Um, it's an open house, you guys, so basically come and go as you please. Some of you will tell me, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I'm late, or hey, I've got to leave early. It's an open house. Uh, you wouldn't, if you were going to an open house that a realtor had, you wouldn't be like, oh, I'm sorry I'm late, I'm late, I didn't, I wasn't here when you first opened the door. Or you wouldn't say, hey, I can't stay the whole time, I'm sorry I have to leave. So come and go as you please. If you're here with me the entire time, I love it. If you are not watching live and you're watching the replay, I love that too. Um, it's always just fun to have you here. Okay, so um, also a change to the listing schedule. Uh, so I always usually try to put out um, three weeks, three weeks, three months in advance our listing schedule. So you know what you can plan on. Um, originally, we were every weekend this month in July 2023. We will not be together that last weekend in July now. So I think that's the 29th. Um, I will be out of town. So um, we're out of, I'm out of town. Uh, personal that last Saturday in July, and then teaching the first Saturday in August um, up in Spokane at the Three Craft Chicks um, Lake Lottawashi Retreat. So um, we won't be the last Saturday in July. We won't be first Saturday in August. So 
Um, you can always find that schedule, Facebook page, Facebook group, and on my blog at layallbymail.com. Schedule is also always at the bottom of the emails that I send out, so you can kind of just play on that. That was the first keeping, uh, first, again, uh, wanting to push two words together, first keeping. That was the first housekeeping item on the list. Uh, number two, there is a um, little celebration happening on the website right now, and that is Christmas in July. So there's two things that um, you want to be aware of about Christmas in July. Uh, it's the third year I've done it, and um, I do two things. Number one, I take all of the prior years, so last year's Christmas and winter products, and put them on a really good sale because there's a ton of new Christmas products that I have ordered that are coming in. So I have to have room. I, it's... And I don't have room for all the things, so I've got to start cycling through things. And that's where you guys can benefit if you are um, in the market for some Christmas things. So when you go to the website at laylbymail.com, you'll see a banner right there in the front. Click that and it will take you to that sale. There's an important piece of information you might also want to notice on that little banner. Because the second thing that I always do is give you guys a little Christmas present. Early Christmas present as my way of saying thank you for supporting my small business. And that is $5 off of your order or $25, $5 off of your order of $25 or more. Doesn't have to be on the Christmas products. It's on anything. And that little coupon code is right there as well. So um, both of those things run through the end of July. So you still have some shopping time in terms of that kind of Christmas and winter product sale. And then you also have that coupon code. It's a one-time use code. So your coupon, coupon code, we'll just see right there. Two important things. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think... I think those are the only housekeeping items for today, you guys. So I'm going to take a <clears throat> another quick look at the chat and then we will rotate the camera and start playing, okay? Oh, thank you, Colleen. Yes, super important. Um, Colleen reminded us, if you are watching, please give the video a thumbs up. That is the easiest way that you can support anyone that you're watching or following on the socials, okay? Um, like and comment and thumbs up. Um, super easy. It takes you literally like one second to do, so... Um, if you would do the thumbs up, I would sure appreciate that. Um, Maripoa says, that, hello, Lael, hello, ladies. OMG, wow, loving the new room, beautiful. Hope you all have time to do it. Yes, I'll have a tour, absolutely. So stay tuned for that. Um, Deborah, lots of new Simple Stories um, Christmas collections. I have them all coming in. Uh, I have the Halloween coming in. Uh, there are some new collections coming in. Um, I don't think that they have shown yet. Uh, that will ship maybe a week or two, month or two after, I don't know. Anyhow, tons of new Simple Story stuff, uh, tons of new things from American Crafts as well. Um, there are two new Christmas collections that I have now. Uh, Paige Evans's um, Sugar Plum, Ever, okay, Sugar Plum Wishes and Vicky's Evergreen Kisses. So Evergreen Kisses, Sugar Plum Wishes, both in the store now. Um, all right, yes, Belinda, yay for coupons. I know, right? I, I, I always like to shop with a coupon. I don't know about you guys. And Nick, my husband, thinks I'm crazy. I'll be like, no, 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 don't buy that yet. I've got to search for a coupon. And he's like, it's not worth my time. And then I'm like, uh, I saved $30. And he's like, oh, okay. But he's like, but you do it. I'm not going to mess with that. Okay. Always look for a coupon if you can. Okay, friends, I think we are... Hi, Mindy, nice to see you. I think we're ready, okay? I am going to... Um, I'm going to rotate the camera and we're going to get started. Uh, so let's rotate. Um, you will now also see my new... Oh, my new work surface. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, I'm, we're also going to turn the lights on. So different lights. Give me a sec. This is the first time using the new lights also. Woohoo! There's one side. Uh, and woohoo! there's the other side. All right. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like uh, with the lights. Okay, mm -hmm. I need to, I can see, I need to move things way down. It's all learning curve, friends. It's all a learning curve. Let's just move all of these little things down. Move this and move this forward, okay? Um, Mrs. Allen said, nice work service. So um, some people were like, oh my gosh, you changed from the dark. Why, why would you do that? Why did you go white? Uh, it pretty much now matches the rest of our house. Uh, and because my craft room is right inside the front door, you know, sometimes in homes you see that, where an office is right inside the front door, that's where my craft room is. So um, now the cabinets match the rest of the house and the countertops-ish. 
So mm -mm, countertops ish. Uh, the only thing that's different about this uh, versus the rest of our house is that this is a honed surface. Um, so it does not, it's not shiny. It won't reflect, reflect the light, which is really important, right? Filming, you don't wanna have these reflections of, um, you know, with the camera and the lights and stuff. So there we go. Uh, all right, lighting, I think. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I think we're good. Hi, Carolee, nice to see you. Uh, Carolee lives not far from me. There are a number of you guys, I think, that live not far from me. Um, she said, hi, Lael from Sandy, Utah. Thank you for the fast delivery of my Lael mail. You are welcome. Um, that's important to me, you guys, that I try to get your orders out uh, quickly because if it was me, uh, I would want my order quickly. I know how I am when I shop. I want it now, right? Uh, Nick, my husband. Okay. Um, this will just take me a little bit to... I feel like I have a lot less... I mean, not less room to work with here. It's just that... Let me Hang on. Mm -mm -mm. We're just going to have a little adjusting today, friends. Um, just a little adjusting. So give me just a second. Oh, sorry, that's gonna move you guys around a lot. If you get if you get motion sickness, just close your eyes for a sec. Okay, just close your eyes for a sec. Okay, hang on. This is all stuff that's very difficult to do beforehand. Well, I, it can be done, it's just a little bit more difficult to do beforehand. All right, I think we're good. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. All right, so when we first get started, oh, the first thing is, uh, last week, I totally forgot giveaways. Um, I, I said I was gonna do giveaways and then I totally even forgot to talk, talk about them. So I realized that after the fact. So we will, um, we'll do those today. Uh, we'll do a couple more giveaways today than we normally do just because I forgot last week. Um, oh, yes, where? <laughs> All right, so let me just figure out what I did with there it is. Uh, it, it's actually right where it should be. I just forgot to grab it ahead of time. Um, when we first get started, I always like to take a look at our lists from the prior week. So that's what we'll start out with. Last week, we did one, two, three different lists. We did, I swear, it seems like it's been way more than a week. I'm like, okay, which ones did we do? The first one that we did was countries I've visited. Now that is the list that I did. And as we were doing this list, I'll bring it up just so you can see a little bit closer. As we were doing this list, I talked about something that I like to talk about a lot when we have a list topic that perhaps doesn't pertain to you. Uh, maybe you like to travel, but maybe you've never been out of the country. Uh, maybe you like to travel, but you've never been out of your state. Um, you like to explore or your province. Maybe you are just, I shouldn't say just, maybe you are not outside of the country. So in that case, just make it work for you. If you travel a lot, let's say um, within Canada, you live in Canada, then your list could be the different provinces that you visited. Although I guess it kind of be a short list, right? Because there are, mm, 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 I do not know. I do not know how many provinces there are. Uh, seven, seven, anyhow. Could list provinces, it could list cities whatever it is. So um, it, countries worked for me because I've traveled a lot ever since I was a little kid. Um, we lived in Japan when my dad was in the Navy. Uh, so that kind of started the whole travel thing. One of the things that I have not finished up yet, uh, when we were doing this list live, I decided it might be fun to include the years um, that I traveled to those places. So I need to get with my mom and a couple of, well, really Japan and the Philippines. I need to get with my mom on because I don't um, I know Japan, but I don't know Philippines. So, uh, and then I'll add the dates for the rest of those. So we used Vicky's Where To Next collection and we had so much fun with that, uh, a lot of fun with that. So that is um, our first list from last week. Oh, I also used new stamp set there, the new Reggie Alpha stamp set. Uh, Sunshine Through Me, I love that. You could list your staycation ideas. Uh, Colleen, I did, I, um, I plugged in the phone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, one of the things that we also talked about last week was um, the Lail by Mail listing with Lail idea book that um, if you want to do a travel themed list, but you really didn't want to do this one and you were looking for other ideas, you pull out the idea book and look at the travel chapter and then you have tons of ideas. So there we go. That was our first list, two page list 
Um, I swapped it. If you've been with me for a while, I usually do my list over here and the decorating over here when I'm doing a two page list. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this one, I, I uh, sw swip, sw swapped it, switched it up a little bit. Colleen, thank you. 10 provinces and three territories. Let me have a quick sip of water, friends. Hang on. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Better, better. <clears throat> oh, that's not water. That's iced tea. I forgot. Um, okay, that was our first list. Our second list, this one, Modern Conveniences. Uh, this one was suggested by, that list topic was suggested by, was it Tracy? Yes, Tracy Curtis. And I love it when you guys suggest list topics. So Tracy had emailed me and said, hey, uh, I've been thinking about this a lot and I think this would be a really fun uh, topic for a list. So we did it, Modern Conveniences. And I used um, products from the Flea Market Collection, Simple Stories Flea Market Collection. Uh, every week as we work, um, you'll find in the description box of the video down below a link that takes you to the page on my website of what I'm using. And if you see something that I use and you want to add it to your stash, then you can um, add it to your cart from there. Uh, yes, yeah, so we had a lot of fun with that. Lots of fun with that. Uh, our third list. Now, our third list was quite interesting uh, because we had done a list very similar to this in April. And when I was coming up with our listing topics for last week, uh, I thought life lessons, that'd be a good one. And then I thought, have we done life lessons? So I looked in the idea book. Nope, didn't do, we haven't done life lessons. We're going to do it. Uh, we did life lessons in April. <laughs> so although I looked in the idea book, that would have hit anything from 2022 uh, back. We had just done it in April. So you guys were awesome. Originally, I'm like, well, maybe we'll just end. I'm like, no, we're not going to end. We're just going to make this work. And somebody said, what if this is just more life lessons? So we made it more life lessons. We had so much fun on this list. Um, use rub-ons. We went through a whole kind of re refresher on how to use rub-ons. So rub-ons here, uh, rub-on stitches from 49 and Market. Here we used the 49 and Market Spectrum Gardenia collection. So this one was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. This one was way outside of my comfort zone. I mean, it's totally different. Um, there's a lot of color going on. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. So sometimes it's good for us to get out of our comfort zone, right? Uh, all right, so those were our three lists from last week. Mm, I am going to, hang on one sec. I need to uh, turn the fan on. Still warm, but I don't think that's, it's not the lights. Not the lights, it's, a, it's me. It's just me. And that lovely phase of life, you know, the lovely phase of life. If you're a woman, you know what I mean. Um, all right. Oh, Debbie, you know what? We haven't did, done that. Debbie said, I thought of one, but you may already do it. What's in my garden or flower bed this year? Uh, let me add that, Debbie, to our uh, master list of lists. Uh, that would be here. So let's see, that would be um, in my garden or flower bed. That one will take a bit of research for me um, in terms of what is in our yard. Uh, Debbie Farnham, whoops, Garnham, <laughs> Farnham. And I always like to uh, reference who who suggested the list topic because then we remember, then I remember and give you credit for it and say, hey, this is a great topic. Okay, so to start with today, our first list is things in my to-do list that aren't getting done, okay? Uh, how many of you have one of those to-do lists? Well, a lot of you have to-do lists, I know that because that's just what we like to do. That's ever since I was a little kid, I make lists. I mean, this is, this is very much what I do. Uh, I make lists. Now, this creative part is really fun, but I also um, like to make lists just to function in life. So it's always, 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 um, I always have a list going. So there is a list going of things that aren't getting done, okay? Things that aren't getting done. So I thought that might be a fun one for us to do together. Uh, if you have a to-do list and you're really good about getting things done on your to-do list, then this could be just your to-do list, the things that you need to get done or things that you got done this week 
But for me, this is things that I'm not getting done, kind of things I'm procrastinating. All right, so uh, for this list, we're going to be using uh, Simple Vintage Berry Fields. So this is a collection from Simple Stories. Um, I've only used it once or twice, so I thought, well, let's bring it back in for a Saturday. I thought that would be kind of fun if we brought that back in. So this is going to be a two-page list. So two-page list left and right. I pulled out some of the... Um, Gabby, I love it. Gabby said, maybe I should ask my fiance for help with this list, right? So um, in the past, we've done lists uh, related to to to-dos. We've done just like a to-do list because that's very much a time capsule list. Like what's on your list of things to do this week? Uh, we've done a honey-do list. If you have a, um, a list of projects that you want someone around your house to do, and that doesn't have to be a spouse or a partner. That could be a child. Uh, Tabitha, uh, brought that up when we last did that list. She said, I am going to do a honey-do list uh, for my daughter. Um, so sometimes just think outside of the box. If a list topic doesn't quite work for you, think about uh, how you can make it work for you. Okay, so two page list. And I just pulled some of the papers out that I thought might be kind of fun to work with. So what I'll do here is I will have two background papers as a base and then I will do my list on top with uh, white cardstock. Um, now, no surprise, I really wanted to pull the yellow in and I have not pulled any of the yellow in by doing this. So that's too much. This one I loved, I love this, but I'm afraid this will get a little bit lost in, um, that this would get a little bit lost. However, I have an idea. We're gonna start with this. I am going to, I'm going to fussy cut this. So I am going to take, this is, how, this is how I'll be able to get some yellow in. I am going to just take my little fussy cutting scissors and cut around these little flowers. Well, they're not little, they're a nice sized flower, right? Uh, and this will give me a nice pop of yellow. Whoopsie. This will give me a nice pop of yellow on uh, this side of my list. Now, uh, the rest of the paper would not have to be garbage, right? Because look at I could do the same thing um, on some other type of list with those strawberries if I wanted, right? I mean, that wouldn't that be fun to just fussy cut that out and that could be a nice little accent at the top of a list. Um, or even on a scrapbook page, on a card, or a mini book, or a tag. So um, sometimes when we're working with pattern papers like this, we use the full piece. But sometimes it's fun just to uh, fussy cut. I love to fussy cut. Uh, and if you're not familiar with that term, that's basically what I'm doing, okay? I am just taking a smaller pair of scissors, and I am cutting the pattern out, part of the pattern out from the rest of the sheet. Uh, I do that with flowers quite a bit. Now, um, manufacturers are really getting um, good about creating die cut packs of um, flowers that coordinate with their collections. Um, so I love that, but we'll just kind of, I'm not quite sure what we'll do down here. So we'll just kind of do that. All right, there we go. There's a little bit, that'll be a beautiful accent, I think. Um, Louisa said, I love the idea of fussy cutting the flowers. I can imagine the page already. Aha, love it, love it, love it. Um, the scissors that I'm using, these are fussy cutting scissors. Um, or that's what I call them. They are a spring-loaded scissor. So you see that? They're a spring-loaded scissor. Very um, short tip on the scissor. Um, the combination of the spring-loaded and the very short tip makes it very easy for you to get into small areas and fussy cut. Um, if you're fussy cutting, the smaller the scissor, the better. Don't grab your 12 inch um, sewing shears because those are way too big, you'll get very frustrated. So the smaller the scissor you have, the better. Even if you have just a little small pair of scissors like this, this is definitely better than you know your six inch blade or your four inch blade or what have you. Um, if you have little embroidery scissors or if you have um, little scissors like this, I do sell um, these little um, scissors on my website. They're blue now, um, they, they changed the color, but they're blue now. Um, I, some of you tell me too, if you um, have like early stages of arthritis or if you have arthri arthritic hands, um, that that little, um, that little kind of spring-loaded action is, makes it really easy for you to cut. All right, um, let's pull out 
pull out our trimmer. We move this off to the side a little bit. Uh, I need to bring in my white cardstock. So um, usually, actually, let's do this first. Uh, my base pages. So uh, I'd say probably 98% of the time for my list, I am using paper from a six by eight pad. The reason I do that is six by eight. The inserts that I use are standard wide. So they are eight by, sorry, they're five inches wide by 8.25 inches tall. So six by eight, five by 8.25. I have very little waste when I am cutting this. So um, I always trim these to four and three quarters when I am working with a base page. The reason I trim to four and three quarters when I adhere that, that now gives me kind of a nice white border all the way around the page, and that's what I like. All right, so that is the right page. This one will be the left page, so four and three quarters here as well. Put these two little guys off to the side. Now I need to have um, white cardstock for my list. Uh, Wanda. Wanda said, I think I'll do a page on things I don't like to do. Fussy cutting, stamping. Wanda, who even are you? Who, you don't like to stamp? What are you, what are you, what are you saying? That's blasphemous. Blasphemous. I understand fussy cutting, stamping. Nah. Nope. You got to fix that. Um, all right. So white cardstock. I use a um, Nina Bright White. I buy in bulk from Amazon. So I use this in my class kits. Um, I use this for all of my stamping, my swatching, everything. It's a nice flat, no texture paper. Um, I've linked to that in the description box of the video if you wanna buy it on Amazon and you wanna buy like 250 sheets, but I also um, sell them in much smaller packs on my website. So this I need to trim to, let's see, if this is eight, I think I usually do seven and three quarters. So let's see what we get here. Seven and three, no, seven and a half. So there's my height now is seven and a half. So let's just do a quick gut check. So that is not going to give me enough pattern. I wanna have more pattern than that. So let's trim off just a little bit more. Seven and a half, let's go seven and a quarter. All right, that'll give me a little bit more background pattern. Um, my width, if this is seven and a quarter, that means I've taken off an inch. Right? No, let me look. Let me just measure here. Math on a Saturday morning is not happening. I've taken off three quarters of an inch. So if I've taken off three quarters of an inch from the height, I need to take off three quarters of an inch from the width. That would give me about four and a quarter. Let's see how that works out. There we go, not quite. Uh, before I get too much narrower, I need to do a gut check, I'm okay. So I'm going to narrow this down just a tad bit more and then we will chat about what size that is. Okay, so we are looking at about four and an eighth by uh, seven and a quarter. So I will do that again for this side. This should already be seven and a quarter, four and an eighth. And that's just what I ended up with. Um, obviously I didn't quite know how I was going to start um, so I just kind of kept cutting until I got to the size that I wanted. That's eight and a half by 11. So then that way I have very little excess. Um, Mindy, so I am, I have, a, I, I have loads of trimmers. Um, the, the Fiskars that I normally use, the orange one, is not my favorite. Uh, so I've had this one for a while. I decided let's just bring that one in because now they're all organized nice in a cupboard. I mean, they were, they were on the floor, well, on the floor before in a, um, in kind of a, on the side of a piece of something. So anyhow, it makes it much easier now that they're, they're right where I need them. All right, so those are going to be the bases of my list. Um, I am going to, well, let's, let's look at this little guy, because this is, this will go over here. Now, I already know 
I don't want the green because that looks really funky, right? So let's come back in. Let's come back in. Um, I have a lot of different trimmers. Uh, normally when I am like crafting and when I am not on camera, I use my big green cater caterpillar. Are we crooked there? I think we are. Uh, let me fix that, sorry. Um, I use my big green caterpillar just because um, it's much easier and it's the best trimmer, I think. Uh, but it's big, so it's just better if I, on camera, don't use that because it gets a little bit, um, it just gets a little bit crowded in here. Um, hi, Natalie. Natalie said, joining in quickly over lunch break at a family camp with my family this week. I love that. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, Louisa said, that's my things I don't like to do list, cleaning, and that includes cleaning my craft supplies on the kitchen table. I know, right? Um, you know what I do like to do? I like to vacuum. I really like to vacuum a lot. Um, like every day uh, or multiple times a day. I just, I like to see all the things suck up. Um, oh, Gabby said, I really wasn't into this line much until now. I love how you put all this together. So we'll see how it ends up, right? We'll see how it ends up. This I think is going to be really fun there. All right. So um, I need to, let's talk about our title. Um, I pulled out three different ink colors here. So I pulled out Barn Door, Fossilized Amber, and Evergreen Bow. One thing I'm going to do when I'm inking, um, Kathy, so I always, my desk has always been an island. Um, it has always been an island. I stand when I work, uh, when I'm designing, when I all the time when I work, unless I'm doing computer work, but when I'm doing orders, all the time I am standing. Um, this is my new, island with a new um surface in my craft room okay um so i just brought in a map you guys uh when i i'm going to try to do this going forward when i am stamping that i'm going to stamp on a mat so i don't um so i don't maybe have some issues with dropping an ink pad we'll see how that goes all right um I brought in this yellow. I don't want to, I want to be careful about making this really red and green. I don't want it to look like Christmas, right? I don't want it to look like Christmas. So to bring in the yellow, the fossilized amber, I thought the fossilized amber would go nicely. Um, it, a little bit, let's see, a little bit of that yellow. So interesting, uh, when I was, well, Maybe I was looking more like this because I was thinking I might use that. That would have gone really well with that piece of paper and I love that piece of paper. But now that I have that there, I might go with, thinking maybe, scattered straw. Scattered straw. So what I want to do is, that's pretty stark white. I am going to grab, <clears throat> foam blending tool. Look at now organized. Um, Tracy, so I did have a glass cover um, on my last island. Problem with the glass cover uh, is that when you're filming, it's shiny so it reflects. It's shiny so it reflects, which is not, um, which is not necessarily ideal when you guys are trying to watch. Um, all right, I'm looking for scattered straw. I am going to ink the edges. So there's my little foam blending tool. Oh, what's going on here? This is my scattered straw um, foam blender. Uh, let me grab scattered straw now. I ordered another, because Ikea was, didn't have them in our store. So I ordered another cavessel or whatever that's called. I think it's called a cavessel. Um, tray for my inks because they're all stacked and I would rather them not stacked. So anyhow, I'm just talking. I'm thinking out loud. All right. So here we go. Uh, when I ink the edges, I am taking a, my foam blending tool, my little foam blender. I have my ink pad and I am going to just kind of um, get some ink on that little foam blender, circular motion. And then I will pick up my little white cardstock here and just come in and ink the edges. Uh, when it comes to working with ink, there's pretty much, well, two main things that I do with ink. One is ink the edges and two is stamp. 
Uh, I really don't do mixed media. Um, every once in a while, I'll pull out a stencil and I'll use ink on a stencil, but primarily it's this. I ink the edges of things and then I use it for stamping. Um, I always use the Distress Oxides um, because that's what I prefer. Uh, that's one of those you do you things. I prefer Distress Oxide. Distress Oxide is a pigment-based ink. Uh, for me personally, I like the coverage on um, a pigment-based ink more so than a dye-based ink. So inks have different properties. You have pigment-based inks, you have dye-based inks, you have hybrid-based, you know, hybrid inks, so a mixture of the two, um, but different properties for each one. The Distress Oxides are a pigment-based ink. Um, they are blendable. Um, the dye-based inks have different properties. Um, and I don't use them for anything other than what I said. So um, I can't really talk to why um, you might want an oxide versus a um, regular Distress ink. Um, if you're blending or using with water, um, oxides work well with water and blending. Um, but if you want to know more about different inks, so um, property differences between a pigment-based ink and a dye-based ink and what you can do with them and how to do things with them, I have links to two different articles in the description box of the video. So towards the bottom of the video, you'll see a link. They both um, take you to um, articles on scrapbook.com. One of them talks about the differences um, in... <clears throat> Uh, pigment-based inks versus dye-based inks. And so it's not talking about a particular manufacturer, but just in general. And then um, there's another article that talks about and shows, you know, you can see visually the differences, um, the difference between the distressed oxides and the distressed based inks. So um, very helpful, very informative. Um, I can just tell you why I like what I like based on what I like and how I use them. Um, I, as I grabbed these things, I wasn't really explaining what I was doing. Um, these are storage solutions that, um, are products that I, um, I won't say I invented them. Actually, my friend Amy came to me with this idea and said, hey, I have this idea on um, how to store inks and, um, would you, do you want it? Do you want to do something with it? I'm like, yes, I love it. So, um, basically if you are using your foam blending tool and your little inks, you need to have a different one for each of your colors. Not only do you have to have a different one for each of your colors, but if you have a wild honey distress ink and you have a wild honey distress oxide ink, you should not use the same blending foam piece for both because they have different properties and you will cross contaminate. So I only use distress oxide, so mine are all distress oxide, but um, this little storage solution, uh, the little box, the um, the cards, the little pre-punched circles. The pre-punched circles are not um, are not inked for you because I don't know what you have. Um, and then little Velcro pieces that hold them all together. So your little um, your little storage things there can hold up to 40 inks, so 20 each side. And then they are um, different uh, manufacturers and different. Um, Distress inks, Distress Oxides, uh, Gina K, Stamp Market. I think I have a couple of others, but basically um, I can I can do any of them. I can do anything that you need. Um, hi, Sammy, said hi, Lail, just taking a break from housework. So I thought I'd pop in and see what you're up to. We're listing, yeah, we're listing. Um, okay, so now we are going to adhere those. So that um, just made, I think, a world of difference. It really just kind of softens those edges. And then it lets me bring in another color. It lets me kind of bring in that yellow. That yellow now is not so kind of, wow, where'd you come up with the yellow? Because I have added the yellow. So when we turn that over, this will kind of give you a good like before and after. So you see on the right side, not inked, left side inked. It just really softens things. It's almost as if um, those of you that are scrapbookers, um, when you like to mat a photo or mat a journaling block with a um, different color, it's basically kind of what we're doing, right? We're matting. Um, well, we're matting, but we're not having to use cardstock. We're just using ink to give us that look of the mat. All right, so this will work in over here somewhere like that. All right, let me just get these little guys out of the way. And this, oh, actually we're not quite ready for that yet um, because we need our title. Um, let me get back. Uh, two others I had pulled out. I had pulled out Evergreen Bow and Barn Door. Hi, Bernice. 
Um, Virginia said, hello from Barcelona. I'm late because I just got back from the beach. Virginia, that sounds like the most amazing thing. Barcelona and I just got back from the beach. I wish I was in Barcelona at the beach. Well, let's see, not right now. I wish this afternoon I was in Barcelona at the beach or this afternoon I wish I was even at the beach. All right, so let's see. For my title, um, I will be stamping. All right, I already know. Evergreen bow goes really well, but I don't want to use it for my title because that's a lot of green over on this page. So barn door, uh, barn door. There are quite a few uh, reds in the Tim Holtz world. Uh, candied apple, barn door, crackling campfire, festive berries, fired brick. Uh, fired brick could work. Aged mahogany, lumberjack plaid, but I think... I think barn door, barn door is what I had picked out. So now what'll be interesting, this may look very, um, it may look very like ah, in your face using the red, but the topic is also things on my to-do list that aren't getting done. So um, maybe it, the red is okay, we'll see. All right, so barn door I'm going to use and I need a stamping block. Every time I got th I'm thinking a little bit, I'm like, okay, where am I? Like, what am I doing? What do I have here? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. My microfiber cloth. I'll be using black at some point. Um, all right. So stamps that I'm using for this list <clears throat> is my new list builder to do. So list builder to do for my six stamp set that has lots of stamps for your list, like your grocery list or a packing list or a shopping list or a bucket list or a checklist, a get it done list, a don't forget list, a things to do list, projects, honeydew. Um, you have lots of things for your lists. Hi, Carrie, nice to see you. So what I want to do is I'm going to do to do and then list. So this is things I'm not getting done on my to-do list, to do list. Let's grab this guy and I am going to stamp these separately. Actually, I don't need to because oh, we're good. There are other words. Um, they're separate words. So sometimes I like to stamp separately if I want things to be closer together, uh, which a lot of times I want things to be closer together, but my to-do is already uh, kind of a fixed space between those two words, so I might as well just come in and add list at the same time. Okay, to-do list. I think it might be a little bit, well, we'll try it. Okay, so now what I need to pull in is Wanda. Wanda, I'm gonna to talk to Wanda today. Um, create and play with Renee. Lael, who is the manufacturer of your stamps? Um, I, they're, they're me. Uh, I won't necessarily share the company that I use. It's not a scrapbooking company. Uh, it is a stamp manufacturer, um, but I use, um, they're all under my own brand. Um, are you coming out with other items also? Um, other items. I've got lots of Lail by Mail products on my website. Uh, washi tape, um, rulers, so custom um, zero centering rulers. Uh, oh my gosh, so many things. Um, pencil boards, pens, pencils. Um, I have tra my own traveler's notebooks coming out. I have my own traveler's notebook inserts coming out. Uh, both of those are being manufactured in China as we speak. Um, so those will come out probably early fall. So yes, lots of different things. Um, all right, so before I ever stamp on a project, before I ever stamp on a project, I always do a test stamp first. Uh, create and play with Renee, make sure I answered your question. So if I didn't quite understand what you were asking, uh, let me know. Um, Wanda, remember, I'm, I'm talking to Wanda, but I'm really talking to all of you. So um, just Wanda said she doesn't like to stamp, so I'm pretending I'm talking to Wanda. Uh, one of the reason, reasons you may not like to stamp, you may not have known that you need to condition your stamps or prime them before you ever start using them. Um, I have already preconditioned this stamp set because I've worked with it before. 
Um, conditioning your stamp sets is super easy, you guys. All you need to do, well, there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. You can take a um, eraser, and this is what I do. I take an eraser that I only use for this. I, I don't also use the same eraser for like erasing pencil. Um, and I just lightly go over the top of the entire stamp set as soon as I receive it. So as soon as I receive it, then I know um, that it's all been conditioned. I'm not like, did I already condition that? Do I need to do that again? So um, the reason you need to condition your stamp sets before you use them is there is a very thin, 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 invisible to the eye layer or coating on the stamp. And if you don't remove that before you start um, working with it, then it's going to affect the stamped impression. Um, it makes it sometimes look kind of blotchy uh, or that makes it seem like the ink doesn't quite stick. So remember, invisible to the eye, you can't see it, something you can peel off. Uh, I use eraser. Some people um, will just stamp with it a couple of times. If you're going to stamp with it a couple of times, you definitely want to stamp with it those times not on your project. So I just always have like a composition book that I have handy that I just do things in. Here's an example of what that process looks like. If you are just stamping uh, several times before um, you're using it to get it conditioned. So you'll see those fives. Um, the first time I stamped, you'll see it's a little blotchy, right? It's a little blotchy. Now there's nothing wrong with that. It's just generally that's not the look I'm going for. I want, um, I want it to be, you know, nice and filled in. So I stamped it again, the second five. Um, there's blotchy now in some other areas, right? So looks better down here, but now it's blotchy a little bit up there. The third five, now it's kind of blotchy all over. Um, the fourth and final five, again, I re-inked between each of those stamped impressions, but the fourth and final five now looks good. That is the one that I was going for. You'll see that with the fours, you'll see that kind of with all of the numbers that I did here. So you can, you don't have to have a special tool, well, tool like an eraser, but you can just stamp a couple of times until it looks the way you want. Um, some people say that you can also just like stamp it on your skin. I don't, I, I don't do that because I have lotion and all different kinds of things and I don't know how that's going to affect, but they say you can do that. So I've already conditioned, so I am good. I am going to now come in and ink up the stamp, okay? ink up that stamp. Um, you'll notice that I, this is just me, personal preference, I am applying the ink to the stamp as opposed to the stamp to the ink, like this. I feel I have a lot more control um, and don't get as much like excess ink on my stamping block. So that's what I do. No right or wrong, but that's the way I do it. All right, so let's go here and let's just stamp and see what that looks like. To-do list, okay. So the reason for um, testing, number one, um, if you're using alphabet stamps, you can make sure it's spelled right. Number two, you can make sure that you like the color. Number three, you can make sure that it is straight, lined up correctly. Um, you can eliminate potentially any, or eliminate any potential issues on your test before you actually do it on your project. So um, sometimes you'll get a little hair or lint in the stamp image and you may not even realize that it's there until you stamp on your project and then you're like, shoot, I have a nice little white space. So that looks good, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to, this is my left page, that's where my title is going to start, right? I'll need to write part of my title because these are things that aren't getting done on my to-do list. Ink that up again, you always wanna re-ink. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. You don't necessarily always want to re-ink, um, if you are um, going for like a second generation stamp, you don't need to re-ink. Ooh, look how pretty. Um, what I mean by second generation stamp is stamping again without re-inking. So if I wanted to do this, I could then kind of do that and do that and do that. That is one of the terms for it, second generation stamping. So it just gives you kind of a little bit of a, a layered, almost like an ombre, ombre effect. Okay, so now I need to clean my stamp. I should clean it right away. Right away, right away, right away. Um, that way your stamps are staying nice and clean um, and they'll last longer if you take care of them, right? So I pulled out my little chamois uh, last week. Um, my chamois dried out in the middle of class. 
And I had to go in class of our Saturday session. My chamois dried out, so I had to go to the bathroom, which is right next to my room, and um, re-wet it. And some of you said, oh my gosh, what you need is a salt cellar. And I'm like, oh yes, I remember, I saw somebody using that. That's what that is. It's just a little salt cellar. Um, so nice, actually a couple of you emailed me the link from Amazon, so then I just went and bought it last Saturday. Um, so that I've linked in the description box of the video. What it does, um, it keeps your little chamois moist and so it doesn't dry out. All right, so I've cleaned it. Now, um, I'm not planning on using this one again, right now, uh, so I don't technically need to dry it, but um, if you are planning on maybe uh, using another color, because uh, sometimes you might use another color for something else, you should always, always, always clean between colors and then always dry your stamp. If you are going to use it again right away, um, you want to dry your stamp. If you don't, it will still be a little bit wet. And if you're using um, pigment-based inks, if you're using a distressed oxide ink, distressed oxides react with water. That's one of the cool properties about them. But it's reacting with water. And if this is still a little bit wet, when you go to stamp, unless you want it to be reacting like it can, um, you're probably not going to like the the outcome. So always dry in between. And then I just use a little microfiber cloth um, because uh, lint free. It doesn't get lint um, on my on my uh, stamps or whatever. Uh, so microfiber cloth, uh, chamois, and the little um, eraser are on the website and in the um, in the description box under the what I'm using. Okay, so let's look and see where we are now. This red I would like to get out of the way. Get that red out of the way. So this is my to-do list, but this is things um, that aren't getting done. To-do list. So things on my that aren't getting done. I am going to... You know what? I'm going to look at something. Let's look at something here. I don't know if I'll like the way this looks, but we might as well try it. I am looking for... Let's see if I can... I have not swatched um, these pens yet. It might be nice. Let's see if this red will uh, coordinate. And we'll see if I like the way it looks. This is another nice... Um, outcome of testing your stamp first, then I can test other things with it to see if I like it. So um, these are click art pens um, from Zebra. What's really cool about them, look it, it's a click. So no cap, you don't have to worry about losing the cap, they don't dry out, it's just a click art. It's like a ballpoint pen that, you know, we, um, we I don't know, when I used a long time ago when I was a kid or whatever, but um, I have three sets of them on the website, different colors, so let's just see. Things on my, so that would work. Actually, this one would totally work. This red is from the standard color pack. Um, I think that would work. Now, am I going to like the way that looks? Let's just do it. Things on my to-do list that aren't getting done. Okay, there we go. I would have started a little bit over here further, but that's okay. I'm a little bit uneven, but no use crying over uneven writing, right? Um, Wanda, Lael, your stamping is perfect. When I get my room redone, I will give stamping another go, but I still love stickers. I kind of like a blotchy look. Um, and you know what? I think there's, um, there is a time and place for stickers. There's a time and place for stamps. The nice thing about stamping is that you can pretty much have any color that you want, right? Um, whereas with a sticker, you are tied to whatever color you have. Um, the other nice thing is that you never run out if you're using a stamp. Um, so I'm gonna come in with my little black pen here and do my outlining like I always do. Uh, Wanda, I've not always been a stamper. And again, I'm talking to everyone, but because Wanda, you know, brought up that she doesn't like stamping. Um, I have not always been a stamper, maybe the last three or four years. And um, I didn't always like it. One of the reasons I think I didn't like it was because I didn't know some of these things. I didn't know that you needed to condition your stamp first. So I'd have new stamps and I'd stamp with them and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I don't like this, this doesn't look right. This doesn't look, I see other people's and other people's look nice, but I don't like it. 
Um, testing for me was also a big one. That was a big one. Uh, testing before I ever do it on a project. Um, and then the, the cleaning was also a big part. So, and then you know what else? Um, just, just playing, just playing with it. Because like anything, um, the more you play, the more you experiment, the more comfortable you feel. Um, another thing that was a really big kind of eye opener for me was pressure. Uh, that different stamps, uh, if you apply more pressure to them, let's see if I've got a couple examples here. If you apply more pressure to them, uh, they don't look quite right um, because the stamps are getting like spread out when you stamp. Uh, I'll see if I can find one of those uh, when we're working later. I'm sure in here I've got an example of that, but we'll, we'll figure that out later. Okay, so there we go. There's a start. Now it's really plain and boring right now. We know that we want this to go in here because I really know I would like to use that. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five things kind of on my to-do list that really aren't getting done that really need to start getting done. So what I'm going to use, I am going to use, oh, let's put this away. That's the other thing. Put your stamps away right away. Um, especially if you're using the little bullet stamps, you guys. And the little bullet stamps are so teeny tiny that if you don't get them put away right away, um, your chances of losing them are gonna be, you know, you just don't wanna lose them, right? You don't wanna lose them because they will uh, not stick after a while. Um, if they don't stick either to your stamping block or to the, the sheet, um, just take a little bit of water, like a damp cloth, a little bit of water on the back side of the stamp and clean that off. It's probably because you've got a little dust or lint on the back, but you don't want to lose your stamps, right? Um, Wanda, OMG, even your test book looks good, but you still got to do it, right? You still got to do it. Um, Martine, I love what Martine just said. I don't always get my stamps perfect either. I decided I don't mind because I have so much fun doing it, right? It's art. <clears throat> it is art. So it's okay if everything doesn't look perfect, right? And that's when you've got to make a decision. Do I just say, you know what, it's fun, I like, it's good, it's maybe not perfect, but I'm okay with it and move on? Or do you get all wound up and go, I don't like this, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Now, Wanda, I'm not talking to you there. <clears throat> I'm sure you're not like that, Wanda. Okay, so what I'm kind of playing around with here is maybe just a couple of layers um, I'm going to use the In The Box stamp set. Okay, I'm using the In The Box stamp set for, um, what's FedEx bringing me today? For this list. Um, you guys, this stamp was so far the best selling stamp of all the June stamps. Now don't mind, mine is dirty because um, I didn't clean it after the first time I used it and now I need to clean it and it's just kind of dirty. Um, but it's okay because it's just, this part of the stamp. Um, that's a do as I say, not as I do, right? Um, anyhow, most popular stamp of all the stamps in the June release. Uh, so popular that it sold out. Um, they're coming back in the week of June 21st, so they are back available again on the website, but it just says as part of the name of the product, they're shipping um, the week of the 21st. So um, I didn't want to use them without you guys because I know what happens. I use it. And you're like, wait, what do you mean I can't get it? Um, yeah, so your order would just wait until then to ship until then. All right. Um, this is going to be the first uh, um, giveaway that I do. Not this one, um, but the in the box stamp set. So the whole idea behind the in the box stamp set, um, quite often, whoops, whoopsie, got to shut that before I can open it, shut it. Uh, let me look here. I don't quite have these organized yet, but once they're organized, I will know exactly where to find. Um, I'm looking for an example. Oh, I know, I know where. I think in here. I think this is my packaging sample. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, heavens, Lael, come on. Where would it be? Not there either. All right, I'll show you the back of the packaging so you can get a feel for uh, what, 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 what. Oh my goodness, where is it? Hang on, friends. This is just a little. Um, I had it earlier. 
This is just a little bit of the, what happens when you're in a brand new space and not everything is where, oh, there it is. It was there, it was just out of order. Um, Gabby, will you come out with different sizes of those boxes? Uh, yes, for sure, because um, you guys have really liked them. Uh, so for sure, for sure. So there's an example um, of how I used those little um, rectangles. So a lot of times in my lists, they are just a bulleted list where I'm just writing one or two words, right? Um, but here, and on this list, I'm writing a little bit more about the things on my list. So it's kind of a fun way to still have your list, but to be able to um, kind of group together kind of all your words regarding an item on your list, if that makes sense. So you gotta get a feel for what that looks like. Now we'll use it, now we'll use it. So I mentioned I had five things. So what I'm thinking here is I could do one, two, three, and then do four and five here. And then I kind of have some room to play down there. So I am going to use black, okay? I'm going to use black to keep it easy. Um, I already have red and I don't want to bring in the green. I don't want this to look like two Christmas, you know, two Christmas tree, two Christmas. So let's get our black ink pad out. Let's get our stamping book out again. Actually, um, move this off to the side because we don't need that yet for a while. Um, move this. All right, ink that up. Get that nice and inked up, and let's see here. Terry said she's planning on playing with the set as soon as she gets set up at the cabin. Terry, you mentioned you had some fun ideas. I wanna see what, what you're doing. You have to just shoot me an email, shoot me pictures when you're done. All right, so that I really pressed down hard on, um, and I don't wanna do that. That's another thing. When you're testing your stamps, it's a good idea. Well, here, we were talking about pressure before. Um, let me press really hard on that. Look what happens when I press really hard. Most of your stamps you don't need to press hard on. Um, when you press too hard, you are flattening down the, the, the stamp and it is um, going to make it really blurry because it's spreading out, right? Spreading the stamp out. So um, another reason why I recommend that you do your test stamping is to get a feel for the pressure especially the smaller the stamp, the finer detail on the stamp, the more that you want to um, be aware of the pressure so that you're not, um, you know, if you have like little words there, you don't want to squish the words so you can't even read what they're saying. Okay, there we go. There's my little box. Um, let's get that inked up again. Uh, Terry, the reason why I'm working on this little black and white mat is just um, just for stamping. I don't want to accidentally drop one of these little guys and get it on my brand new on my brand new countertop. So we'll see. We'll see if that keeps up for a while. It probably won't, but that's my thought right now. All right. So I am very purposefully um, having this one be left justified instead of the center because I would like to be able to add a little something here and I need to do a little something here because I'm a little off center. So uh, that's my thought process there. This little mat is, I bought it at Ikea years ago. Um, I think it's a placemat, just a little placemat. We'll do another one here. Okay. Do another one here. So your little box here, basically, um, it's a box that uh, I created. It's a box. Um, there's two parts of the box, really. Ooh, I got a little bit blurry there. Lael, what are you doing? Um, I hand drew the inner uh, part of the box or the rectangle and then used a ruler around the outside. Okay, so there we go. And actually, while I have this out, I should do this other side too. But before I do that, I probably need to get these things set. I need to get these things set. Oh, now let's bring in my little um, glue pen because I need to make sure to get adhesive in those little parts, those little tiny parts. 
Alrighty. So, we think we wanted this in there too, right? I think so, so let's just do that. What's nice about um, that piece that we fussy cut is that it was already bleeding off the edge of the paper, right? So that was bleeding off the edge of the paper. Now it's bleeding off the edge of the paper in our, um, in our little uh, list as well. I didn't put adhesive down there yet, so all right. Then we'll come back in here. This will need something a little bit more. I'll probably try to bring in a little bit more red here. Uh, all right, now I know over here what I have room for. So it's funny, not, not necessarily 100% loving the red on the my writing, but you know what? It is what it is, right? It is what it is. Um, Terry, Ikea has a clear desk mat. That would work great. I do. I do. Um, I've been there, I think, twice already this week. Uh, I will go there again either today or tomorrow. So thank you, Terry. I will look for that. I will for sure look for that and see if it would be um, glossy. Uh, hi, Nancy. We are on our first list. First list. Uh, we did some chatting, a little bit more chatting than normal. Um, normal, whatever that is, uh, at the beginning. So, um, yeah. We talked about my new little setup here, my new little scrap room, craft room, studio, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all right. Let's get that cleaned up. Um, and let's get this cleaned off. Move these off to the side for a second. There is lots of black on there, so I won't clean off all of that right now. I really need to get in there and clean off that inner. Um, so here's the thing. When you are making stamps like this that um, have, well, the outline, right? There's two ways to do that. Oh, look, it, that just comes right off, that old black that was there. I just need to kind of, you can hear it. Um, when you are creating a stamp like that. There's two ways to do it. Um, one way is to the stamp is just the outline. That's it, right? Just the outline. It would not have all of this in the center. See how that is like a full, that's a full piece, okay? So it would either be a full piece like this or it wouldn't have a haul that excess. This would be just, the stamp would really only be uh, the box. The problem with that is you have a heck of a time getting that box straight um, when it's just the outline part. That's why for me, it was important to have that part there. So you might look at this stamp set and go, oh my gosh, what a waste. Why didn't you put any stamps in there and there and to make use of that space? That's why, because you would hate using the stamp because it would be nearly impossible because the stamp is so um, narrow. It would be nearly impossible to ever get that straight. So sometimes there's a method to the madness, friends. Not always, <laughs> not always. Um, probably more often than not, but in that case, um, if you've ever wondered why you see a stamp set like that, um, that's generally why. So that it makes it easier for you when you're stamping. Oh, there it is. All right, let's put that away now. Uh, so two size boxes. Um, when we use this again next time, I'll, um, we'll go through some masking. So um, here I made the box a full box and I'm going to use some die cuts uh, to decorate. But when I was showing you the packaging, where is that list? When I was showing you, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just don't know where it is. Um, when I was showing you the packaging for that list, you'll see um, there is like my number one is not stamped on top of the line. That's because I did a little mask with that. So I'll show you how, and when we use it again, how you can create a mask. Super easy way to create a mask. So it's almost like that rectangle is around the one and then the one is fits right in. If you don't know how to make a mask, super easy, super easy. All right, so now let's see what else we have going on here. Um, I already know that I would like to, I think, do a little bit of, mm -hmm, 
I am going to do a little bit of a line here just to separate. Actually, we'll probably make this one come all the way over here, even though nothing is there. So I'm going to reinforce that double look by doing two lines like that, okay? Now, we need to do a little decorating. We're still not ready to write on our list yet, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, Joy Ellen said, where did all your other furniture go? Uh, three places. Sam, our younger son, took one piece. It was like a, um, I don't think you guys ever saw it because it was on the other side of the room. Um, it was like in one of the Ikea square units that has all the squares. I think it was th three high by like four or five, five wide. Um, but it had doors on all of it. So Sam is taking that and he'll go in his living room or something. Um, one of my local customers bought um, a couple of my other pieces that were in here. And then one of my dear friends that I used to work with at Simple Stories um, bought uh, two other pieces. So I'm um, all went to very good homes, very good homes. All righty. I'm thinking maybe we want to take a look at the sticker book because the sticker book is going to give me some smaller things so I could do something up here. Um, butterfly, but I think that butterfly might be, a, oh yeah, see, butterfly is way too big unless I cut part of it off, but then with it's probably a little bit too much if it gets cut off. So let's see what we have in terms of stickers. There's an alpha, large um, word strips, some tags. Actually, I should probably just look at the back. Oh, here we go. Let's go to the butterflies back there and see maybe we can find a smaller butterfly that would fit there a little bit better to fill in that space a little bit. Maybe this, oh, maybe the yellow. No surprise, maybe the yellow. Um, hi, Debbie. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's 3.20 a.m. in Sydney. Oh my goodness, Debbie. Had to get up and thought I would check in on you. Well, hi, Debbie, how are you? That's fun. You're in Sydney. Now, Debbie, I don't think you live in Sydney, right? That's, you, remind me, am I confused? Am I confused? Do you live in Sydney? Or are you just like there visiting? All right, let, we need something a little bit more over here now. So let's see. Oh, I'm totally covering up that green part, aren't I? Let's see, there's some cute strawberries in here. Um, I have a mixture, I think, of probably three different die cut packs here, you guys. Um, there are, let's see, what was in this collection? It's been a while since I used it. You have the ephemera. So the ephemera are going to be the larger pieces like this. Um, you have, so this would be another one. So the ephemera, Simple Story started doing ephemera. They're generally larger die cuts. So you have the ephemera pack. You have the regular die cuts. And then you have, oh, the layered bits. So uh, layered bits which is really fun because then you get something like that. If you um, really like the look of layering, but you're a little bit afraid and don't know quite how to do it, well, they make one die cut for you that has all the layered bits um, that are part of it. So you have layered bits. That one I think is my favorite. I wonder where that one is. I don't know what I did with some of these. Um, and then you have the regular bits and pieces, like the little die cuts. So let's see what else we have here. Oh, that could maybe go there, right? Although, if that went there, I think this is what I would do. Um, okay, Debbie, I'm totally wrong. You're in the suburbs an hour outside of the city. So you live there. Okay. I would not have guessed that. I did not know that. Uh, hi, Kathy. Checking in while having coffee. It's your son's wedding day? Oh, my goodness, Kathy. That's so exciting. That is so exciting. Congratulations. Super exciting. When is the, like... What time today? Is it a nighttime wedding? Nighttime? All right, I'm just lifting this up a little bit, friends, because I don't want, ooh, um, 
I want a little bit, I don't want to cover up so much of that flower. So coming in, lifting that up, maybe this comes in a little bit more. Absolutely pure milk. We have that little cow there. That's all right. Okay, we'll leave that for now. That's going to work. I'm just going to do it. 5 p.m. Oh, so exciting. What a fun, like, isn't that so fun? You think of like young love. Well, it doesn't have to be young love. I don't know. Because people get married at all different ages. All right. There's a start. Um, things on my to-do list that aren't getting done. You see, I'm trying to make it like all flower, even though it's kind of a, a like loser topic. I'm not getting all these things done that I need to get done. Oh yeah, we don't want to. We don't want that there. The reason we don't want that there, we have flowers over here. It's too like matchy matchy if I put the flowers there. So, um, we could maybe do flowers here, right? Maybe that goes there. We could do. This, this is going to still take a little bit of work because there's still kind of, I've got some trapped white space in here, right? I have a little bit of trapped white space. So that's, we got to fix that. And then we need to figure out what to put over here. So, no, don't want the butterfly because we've got the butterfly there. And now that butterfly just looks like a giant thing that we just threw in there, which is what I did, right? I just kind of put a giant thing there. That little guy could go there. Something needs to go over here, but not that because I don't want both yellows there. So let's see what else we have that we could be working with here. Um, we have a B. I don't really love that there. So maybe let's go with one of these guys. So this little guy I was looking at using over here in a die cut. So maybe, maybe this guy goes here. Just let it sit there for a sec. Um... We have a little bumblebee that could go over here, maybe. Mm. So what I see is same size, same size, same size, which I don't necessarily like. I need, let me cut this off. That'll help a little bit, maybe. There's a lot going on. There is a lot. This is not happening there. I can tell you that right now. All right, let's do this. Let's, I'm going to, let me look at this maybe. What if we put this here and then put one of these little buttons on it? It's fine, it'll work. Oh, actually, what about this? What about this little flower instead? Oh, the little flower's too small, right? Little flower's too small, it just kind of gets lost in there, but if it goes there. No. Let's go back to the button, and then maybe that. No, it covers up too much of the button. That one's too small. We'll figure it out, right? We just start adding things and things sometimes fall into place. Aha, look at these. So these are like little washi swatch things, kind of. That could be fun, right? That could be kind of fun to work with here. Oh, I don't know, now it's just getting really messy. I'm going to stop here in a minute. I'm going to stop because I will just keep on going. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to um, now start writing. I'm going to start writing my list. Writing my list. Uh, Wanda said, I love that truck. Um, love that truck and chicken. I'm kind of country. And Jackie said, words in the trapped white space. Yes. I could for sure do um, word strips here. Absolutely. Okay. So now let's write the things that are on my to-do list that aren't getting done. Um, I have a little idea here. 
and I'm not, okay, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, so I'm going to do a little test on it. Um, now, I won't use this stamp because um, <laughs> I will just write it, but look it, I was thinking, what if I did that little, um, what if that I did the little frowny face? So this is the bullets, um, the original bullets and more stamps, original bullets and more. Yeah, um, the other one's bullets and more too, but there's a smiley face that I drew in a little sad face. So if I did sad face, sad face would kind of go right there. I'm just gonna do it, I'll, but I'll just do it with my little pen. There my little sad face. But they'll get done because they have to. You'll see why. They'll have to get done. Okay, next up. Write the things on my list. So uh, the first thing on my list would have to do with um, cleaning out our, I know, I'm just going to say it master closet. I know they say you're supposed to use primary or whatever like that, but that's just what I call it. So cleaning out our master closet, um, purging, trying on, donating, and organizing. Then onto the bathroom drawers. Oh boy, I accidentally went on to the little bee. Um, Diane said, how is Nick doing in his golf tournament? So Nick, my husband, um, is, he loves to golf. Um, that's what, summertime. And so sometimes he uh, will chime in, he'll pop in on a Saturday. Wow, I got totally crooked there, didn't I? Um, he'll come in on a Saturday uh, in the chat and he'll say hello and he's golfing. Um, this golf tournament, the the, the festivities for the golf tournament started on uh, Wednesday afternoon and ends tonight. So um, it's a lot. It is a lot. They're very long days in the heat, and they're also very long days of a lot of fun, if you know what I mean, golfing with the men. Um, so as of this morning, they were, whatever this means, half a point um, off of first place in their flight. So um, he did well yesterday. He and his partner did well yesterday, so that's good. All right. Um, one of the things on my to-do list. Now, this was going really well until I had to uh, clean everything out of my craft room so it could get done and then put everything back in. So that's kind of on the back burner for a while, but that's okay. Um, oh, here's another one. Uh, get back on track with Gina Libby. Um, I know what to do. I know it works. I feel better. I just need to do it. Uh, Gina Livy is a, um, uh, it's just like a method of eating. That's just the easiest way for me to um, boil it down without getting into a whole long explanation of it. Um, but I need to do it on my to-do list. Not happening. It will. It will. Um, I also need to place my simple stories order the rest of it, I placed half of it for their new fall collections. Um, I just need to do it. Now I'll have to put something here because now there's a big old trapped white space, right? Um, trapped white space. What I mean when I say trapped white space uh, I'm okay here because it's all flowing. It's flowing, flowing until you get here. Uh-oh, trapped white space. So 
it looks kind of odd, right? Because I, I, I mean, I could write another word there. Um, I'll just do this. Sunday, I'll do it tomorrow. There we go, because I need to do it. So I've solved that tra trapped white space easily. Um, I could have put another embellishment there. I could have put a sticker there, but it looked odd until I did something, okay? Um, next up on my list is I need to design the sneak peek for my class at Ready, Set, Create event in September. Here's the thing. It was due yesterday. Huh? It was due yesterday. Now, I knew that, but um, I reached out to the event organizer a couple days ago and said, hey, can I get it to you on Monday? And she said, of course. And so, yes. So that will also be off of my to-do list, but um, very excited about that. Uh, that will be, that's going to be so fun and it's going to be a really fun class, but I just need to design the sneak peek. Um, all right, last up. Mm -hmm. uh, finish my travel. You know what? I did not adhere that yet. I should probably adhere that so I know where I can do this. Where, oh, here there. Need my little tweezers. This is gonna go right there. Finish my, oh, whoopsie, it just totally moved. Finish my, oh, travel, whoopsie, I almost wrote travel again. Travel planning e-course. The stamp set is almost designed. We're getting close, but I need to finish. All right, so um, we have lots of trapped white space there that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, and I have some little something that needs to go here. One thing I want to do right now, I am going to grab, um, my watercolor, uh, my Distress Watercolor Pencils. Now, I will not use these for watercoloring because that would be, well, I just don't use them for that. I use them for colored pencils. I'm going to look at fossilized amber. So let's see what fossilized amber might look like here. Um, I need to add a little bit more color to those blocks. So there's a couple ways I can do that. Open up. I am going to Come back to my little test. Another reason why you um, test is because then I can come back in and go, hmm, what if I come in and just color in that little border, right? Color in that little border. I think I would like the way that looks. Uh, yes, I'm going to bring in a little color by doing that. Uh, yes, Ginger is such a sweetheart. She will totally understand. Ginger's the event organizer for that um, Ready, Set, Create event. So yes, she is. Um, yeah, she's awesome. And she's also no dummy. Uh, she has done this for years. And um, I think the sneak peeks start um, being public uh, to the people that are um, going to the event August 1st. So she asks for them with a couple of weeks uh, padding. You know, because it just, things happen. Things happen. Like me, saying, hey, kind of had some crazy things going on. Got to get my room reset before I can do any kind of work. So are you okay if I get it to you on Monday? Sure. Sure, sure. Yes, yeah, she's a sweetheart. Um, let's see. Jill's husband is playing in a golf tournament today, too. Awesome. Uh, I can't wait to see you, too, at Ready, Set, Create. Do you say, um, and I'm sure I already know this, lie. Is it Lai Lee? Is that right? I probably asked you that probably a hundred times. Um, oh, and you're, you're gonna be there live. That's so fun, I love it, love it, love it. 
All right, so look at, that brings in a lot more color, doesn't it? When you look at the two, it just kind of um, makes everything, brightens it up a bit by adding the color around those, um, adding the color around those little lines. Now, another thing that you could do, and I won't do that here, I'll show you um, over here on the, my little tester, um, but another thing that you could do would be to lightly, well, I would do it lightly, to lightly come in here and just like color in the box, right? I would do the coloring into the box after you do your writing, not before. But look, so you could even add more color by doing that if you wanted. But I'm gonna keep it white. We'll keep it white. So definitely a time capsule list because these are things, current things on my to-do list that aren't getting done. Uh, but when I say time capsule list, what I mean by that is um, if I had made a list like this, um, I don't know, when I was in college, it would be totally different than this, right? The things on this list would be totally different. Um, when I was a young mom, so when I would just had, um, our boys, my things on my to-do list that aren't getting done would be totally different, right? Um, this whole, my own business thing. If I looked back on this list 15 years ago, I'd be like, wait a minute, what? Place my simple stories order. What am I, order what the heck, what? Um, Gina Livy, uh, the closet thing it would have been on my list back then because that's been a thing my whole life, the closet, I hate it. Um, but a sneak peek for this class, wait a minute, what? E planning e-course, what the heck? So, so um, the whole purpose for me of doing a list like this, even though it's a very specific point in time, is that later I can look back at a list like this and go, oh my goodness, look at that. Look what I was like, look at the things I was procrastinating back in, um, you know, this date. All right, so let's look at, I think what we'll do, let's look at word strip sticker here. Let me get this stamp set put away. Um, some things I put in the same-ish area where they were before. Uh, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to find them. Now, I don't know what I did with that cover. So I'm sure I'll find that when I clean up. We'll just pop that back in there. Um, oh yes, word strips. So there were word strip stickers in that pack. Um, there were word strip stickers in there, but those are a little bit bigger than I want to go for. Okay, a little bit larger than I am looking for. So I'd like to find something to kind of go right in there. Those are too big for me. So I will pull out, ooh, I think we might pull out the um, Small Talk Snarky. Uh, word strip stickers are my thing. Uh, I always say if something, if there's a hole somewhere, if it looks like something is missing, word strip sticker is your answer. And that's what we're going to find here. So let's go to the black ones. Um, I want you to know that someone cares, not me, but someone. Hey, train wreck, this isn't your station. I'd like to announce I have no idea what I'm doing. These are the snarky ones, right? A little snarky. Um, a penny for your thoughts seems a little pricey. I would like to confirm that I do not care. I'm sorry, and by sorry, I mean get over it. So all of these, um, you know, just fun, kind of poking fun at things uh, stickers. So what if, I'm so sorry I'm late, but I didn't want to come. Mm -mm -mm. How about, um, your crazy is showing, you might want to tuck that back in. I want you to know that someone cares, not me, but someone. How about this one? I'd like to announce I have no idea what I'm doing. That kind of works here. That kind of works here. Um, okay. So, um, I know it's too long, right? I know it's too long. That is, that's part of what I wanted to do here, but then guess what's going to happen here? Then I end up with more trapped white space there. So that is going to get very interesting. So I have a different idea now. My idea now is I am going to pull out also my uh, da, 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 small talk. Uh, small talk, so same thing, but these are not, um, these are not um, snarky. So live, create, tell the story. Today is full of possibilities. Live simply, give generously. 
Uh, so I think what I might try to do here is, where did that one just go? Um, the one on, oh, no. What was it? Oh, today is full of possibilities, yes. Today is full of possibilities to get things done on my to-do list. So what if we do something like this in between all of these? Okay, if we do these little things in there, that will kind of help to fill up a little bit of the space. And some of these kind of, a, today is full of possibilities. I can always get the things done. Well, live, live, create, tell the story. Tell the story of what I'm not getting done. Um, let's see what else. Um, da, 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 da. <laughs> you are enough. Sometimes you have to take chances and not get things done. Sometimes you have to take chances. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe this one. So now I know I'm going to have an issue here still that I'm going to need to deal with. I'm just creating more trapped space there, but we'll deal with it in a minute. We'll figure something out. We'll find another icon to put there. Um, over here. Stronger than yesterday. That would work, right? Um, oh, here we go. How about this? Embrace beautiful chaos. Okay. So this spot, we still have an issue here. Oh, I know, the other thing I need to do really quick, I need to grab that pencil out again because I need to fill in that little uh, space, that my little double line there that I added. Okie dokies. Um, hang on, I need to sharpen this just a little bit. It's getting a little bit worn out. Worn down, not worn out, just worn down. Because that's a pretty thin little line there I want to go between. Um, that is an awesome little sharpener. Um, it fits your wider uh, pencils and then your regular size pencils. Um, it's just a little Prismacolor one that I have on the website. Um, that works for any of your pencils, colored pencils, what have you. Um, when I was moving things, I dropped that on the floor and all the little pencil shavings, like the fine, fine, fine pencil shavings went everywhere. So that was not, um, that was not necessarily ideal. But then I was able to vacuum because I love to vacuum. So I just grabbed a little, you know, vacuum on the floor and it was good. All righty. Um, so we have, um, we might need something right there too. Uh, we're just taking our sweet time today, aren't aren't you guys? Aren't we? Um, we sure are. Um, we sure are. Do more than exist. Oh well, yeah. No, I don't think we want that there. I think we're just gonna let leave that. We will leave that be. Yeah, because it doesn't really have a place to go. All right. So we have this to deal with. So we need to put something else in there. What if we put, it's, it's, it's getting quite of loaded, um, and it's quite loaded down here, isn't it? Lots of things. Lots of things, but that's all right. Come out. That needs to come off too. Mm. Dairy coupon. Well, what if, I'm going to wrap this one up in just a sec, you guys. So if I don't quite get it where I want it to be yet, I'll finish it later because we're now, I'm into this list way too long, way too long, right? Way too long. No, I'm just throwing stuff down now. So this is going to be a prime example of sometimes you just walk away or put it away. In this case, I won't walk away, but I'll put it away uh, because now I'm just trying to throw stuff down and that becomes very obvious when you start doing that. 
right? It becomes very obvious when you start just throwing stuff down like that. Um, and when I say obvious, it's just forced, right? It's forced. So sometimes if you're not quite sure how to wrap something up or sometimes it's even started, right? Sometimes if you're working on something and you're just like getting so frustrated, then maybe it's not the time to start that one. Maybe it's time to do something else. So I'm going to move all these things off, get them put away. Oh, what I need to do though now, I need to add this to my insert. Um, I don't know why I did that one just outside of the insert when I was starting. Oh, I do need though my corner rounder. <laughs> oh, I brought that out already. Oopsie, sorry. Just rammed my head into the, um, just rammed my head into the camera. All right, so rounding the outside corners. We'll go ahead and insert that and then I will, I'll work on that one later. I'll figure it out. And then I'll show you guys uh, next week when we're together again, how it turned out, how I figured it out. Usually when I do that, usually when I walk away like that, um, and then, you know, usually it's not the same day. A uh, couple days later, when I pick it back up again, it like just falls in right away. It just right away falls in. It's like, oh, well, and sometimes too, I obviously don't have all the product from the collection out here. Uh, so I just need to dig a little bit deeper into what I have off to the side. And then we have it. All right, so it's it's almost done. Not quite, but almost. All right, let me get um, all of these little things put away, and then we will um, that will that'll help it a little bit. That little piece that I just popped in there. Uh, for now, I'm just going to tuck that. Try to tuck it in, and then it will maybe stay there until I'm ready. All right, um, let me get all these little pieces away and then we'll move on to our next list. So let's talk about what's on our next list. Um, actually, before we do that, uh, tell me if you are, if you're watching live and you are in the chat, I would love to know what's on your to-do list that you're not getting done. What is on your to-do list that is just like hanging over your head that you need to get done? Chores cleaning, laundry, talking to someone, a conversation you've been putting off with someone, right? Sometimes that, maybe if it's a little bit more of a difficult conversation, it's not, um, it's something that you you know you really need to do. And it may not be like on your, you know, your written to-do list. It's just something that's hanging over your head. What is it? What would be one thing or multiple things on your list? Decluttering, yeah, uh, yard work, yard work. Um, Weeding the flower beds, Belinda, updating her resume. Uh, Julie, like me, cleaning out her closet. Cleaning out the closet. Usually for me, cleaning out the closet's always on there because it's just always a huge project. It's just a huge project. And so I'll get motivated and work on it for a while and then I'll be like, oh, and then I get tired and I'm like, I don't wanna do this anymore. This is not fun. I don't wanna do this anymore. All righty, so there we go. Um, our second list for today, Woo our second list, uh, oh, Anne, right? Um, Anne, Anne Lee's bills, uh, Gerda's decluttering, uh, Hiley, oh, wait, I, you, I know you told me how to pronounce it earlier, didn't you? Um, did I pronounce the first part right? I don't know. Um, let's see what else you guys have. Cleaning out our trailer on our property, broken into three times. Oh no, goodness, Jackie, that's no good. Um, Diane, organizing her scrapbook room, multiple things to organize, setting up a Roomba. Oh, that's fun. Uh, Kylie says decluttering is the worst. Um, Janet, Jan Longaburger baskets, yes. They're, well, I know they started out as baskets, right? Um, Janet wants to sell some of her Longaburger. Long I am totally probably butchering that name. Um, she wants to sell some of them. She's got to photograph it all, right? Kathy's doing Disney scrapbooks from taking each of six granddaughters to Disneyland. Last one was 10 years ago, and I want to give them for Christmas. But what a wonderful project, Kathy. Um, let's see. 
Uh, Clara cleaning the windows, Robin organizing craft room, Deborah finishing my younger daughter's Christmas stocking. Oh, that's fun. Joy Ellen is working on taxes, Kathy is scanning photos. So just some of the things that are on your list that just aren't really getting done. All right, um, next up is our list number two. Oh, uh, things you don't leave home without. Things you don't leave home without, okay? Um, you guys remember way back in the day, there was a, let's see if you guys know who it is. It was an advertisement. It was a very famous advertisement and it said, don't leave home. It actually was, it started out with don't leave home without them. And then it changed to don't leave home without it. Hi, Allison. Oh, it's so good to see you, my friend. Oh, I miss you. Uh, Allison said your new space looks amazing. Thank you. Um, April, American Express, right? It was American Express. So originally it was don't leave home without them. Uh, traveler's checks, traveler's checks. Some of you are like traveler's check. What the heck is even a traveler's check? Um, traveler's checks. And then it morphed into don't leave home without your American Express card. So kind of like that, but totally different. This could also be a little bit of a, of, of a different take on it. Uh, like what's in your purse. Or maybe if you're a student, you're going to school, what's in your book bag or your backpack? Um, maybe you're a photographer, so what's in your camera bag that you don't leave home without? Um, maybe you're a mom, maybe it's the baby bag. What's in your baby bag that you don't leave home without? So um, it could be any of those things, or it could just be generic, like you don't leave, don't leave home without it, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do, don't leave home without it. Um, this is a single page list I am using. Um, Da, 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 da. little things okay the little things so the little things is a collection from simple stories that i think is so darn cute it's one of those collections that is um really neutral and when i say neutral it doesn't have a theme to it um kristen my test booklet yes that is a composition book it is a composition book, just that I, um, I just, that's what I use. Because uh, then it's always there, and I'm never searching for scratch paper. But then a lot of times I look, I can go back to it and be like, what did I do there? How did that look? Or I can show you guys, this is what you want to do. Don't do this. You want to do this. But yeah, composition book. Hi, Creative Cindy. Paper piece never leaves home. P lip balm and a hair tie. Um... April had a question. She said, I know you've answered this before. Totally forgot. Do you keep going in the same traveler's notebook or do you have multiple going at a time for creative endeavors? April, I have lots of traveler's notebooks going at any given time. Uh, when it comes to my listing traveler's notebooks, I just keep going. So I work through one and when it's full, then I put it away and start a new one. Um, all right. Let's try it. Little things. So little things, super neutral collection and that it can be used for lots of different things. Jackie, money and water, money and water, right? Um, this has lines in it too, Kristen. Mine has lines in it. Uh, it. You just probably can't see them, but it has lines in it. Um, Deborah, my migraine rescue painkiller. Deborah, that is like the main thing on my list. I never, ever, ever leave the house without that because the one time you leave without it, the one time you're going to need it, and the one time it's going to be bad. Yes. All right. So let's see. Um, I have loads of die cuts and um, that's like one of my favorites. So I am going to end up doing two. You are my favorite. Uh, I am going to end up doing two single page lists, so I will do them side by side. Both I will end up using the little things. Um, oh, so fun. But they'll be to two totally separate lists. So that is, um, some of you only make double page lists because you want things to coordinate. And I say, you're probably a scrapbooker if, you're, if that's you because um, I know that you like to do double page spreads, you want things to coordinate. So nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you have single page lists that you're working on, um, you could use the same collection side by side, even though um, they're separate lists, then it kind of makes them, you know, look like they go together. All right, so there we go. I just got a bunch of stuff out of there. Um, 
This will be my list on the left page. I am going to, I probably better figure out what I'm going to use on the right page. Alrighty, um, I think I've just taken a bunch of the papers out. I will use, I'm gonna, I'm actually, this is going to be a, a double layered list. So there'll be a background and then this, and then my list will be on top of that for that page. Then over here, I may use that little guy for my other list. So let's go with that. Let's go with that look to start. All right, um, this one, that's going to be my background. So I know I would like that to be. Um, four and three quarters as my base. And then I don't need much of that black polka dot, right? I mean, I just can have just a little bit of it and it'll still, it'll still be nice. So if that is four and three quarters, if I go to four and a quarter, I'm thinking four and one quarter, then that will give me a little bit of border, right? Like that. Oh. I need to also trim the bottom. So I need to trim that to seven and three quarters. Yes, seven and three quarters. So I ended up with, my base is, oopsie, my base is eight by four and three quarters. And then the next layer is, What did I do? Not quite right. Hang on. Hang on. I'll tell you what it is in a sec. That probably needs to be seven and a half. Yep. Seven and a half. Oh, it, yeah. It's fine. Uh, seven and a half by four and a quarter. There we go. I love that paper. That paper makes me very happy. Um... Kristen, um, it's not a new line. It's been out for a little while. It has been out for a little while. Um, I have not taught at that store. I have taught um, at another store near there in the past. Um, let's see. April, okay, hang on. Uh, I wanna go back to what April was asking because um, April is asking about having different inserts for different things. And now some of you are chiming in. Um, Kathy's just starting a health tracker traveler's notebook that will be separate from her regular list. So she will use a separate insert. Um, April was considering one for memory planning and will include a month in review and then a creative listing one for fun, but I'm afraid of running out of pages. Um, yeah, you just kind of keep going, right? I just keep going. They just one rolls into another. Um, Deborah says when she does single page lists, she'll do same collection on opposite facing pages so it kind of all looks together uh, or works together. Um, I love that you guys are like chatting about um, April's question. Um, Kathy's saying that next year, she thinks she'll make a separate book for month in review and in the news. Uh, and I know a lot of people do that too. Um, Nancy, I love it. Nancy has her grandkids, some grandkids there. Three, 10, six, and three. Um, yeah, that I saw a picture that she had posted on Facebook uh, other day. So cute, yesterday maybe, so cute. All right, so now let's get our, um, our white cardstock again. White cardstock is probably one of the most often used uh, products that I have, right? So you won't even really be able to tell that those are lemons. Uh, it'll just be, you know, cute. Just a cute little background. Where's my pencil? Oh, there it is. All right, so I'm not even going to measure this. I'll tell you what I end up being, what it ends up being. And then I also keep my little, all the, well, not the little tiny ones, but I keep a lot of the white scraps because you never know when you need it for something. Okay. Ooh, what was I thinking there? That's pretty small. But that's okay. That's all right. Um, okay, let me look at my little 
little, well, let me look here to see what I was thinking. Don't leave home without. Okay, so home. Um, I am going to do a couple things here. I think I'm going to um, bring in a little bit more pink. I think I'm going to ink the edges. So with the pink, let's look for a nice pink. Ooh, maybe mm, uh, saltwater taffy. Let's see. Um, this, you guys, is why saltwater taffy. I think that'll be fun. It's a little bit darker. Um, so saltwater taffy. But that is why I um, swatch my inks. Where is saltwater taffy? Oh, I don't need saltwater taffy. ding -a -ling. Because I have it here. Ay, 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 ay. All right. I have done something with spun sugar. Somehow I have uh, mis misplaced spun sugar. I need to find it. All right. Uh, so I'm going to ink the edges again, just like I did in the last one. It'll help me bring in a little bit more color. Uh, oh, okay. I do need it. <laughs> I do need it. Although, let's see. Because this is an oxide, uh, it will still have, the ink will still be... Uh, wet-ish on the little guy, but not enough. So I need to find that. I need to find it. Why? Oh, there it is. Mm, it's where it should be. It's with the oranges. It's organized with the oranges and not with the uh, with the pinks where it should be. All right, same thing again. Uh, circular motion to pick up some ink on that little foam blender. And we'll just ink away. Um, if you are not an inker or you don't want to mess with having lots of different inks and you're not much of a stamper or maybe you just stamp with black, um, but you still want to be able to um, have color on your list like this, you could use cardstock um, to mat your pieces. And um, if you did that, especially when it comes to Simple Stories collections, um, they just came out with their, uh, they just came out with their uh, six by eight paper pads of their cardstock, of their Color Vibe cardstock. So um, what's super nice about those is because Simple Stories making the collection and then they also make the cardstock, you can pretty much find any color that would coordinate with whatever colors that they have used in the collection. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten of those. Um, now that coordinate with all, well, they're basically, they're, um, oh, hang on, let me show you. They're basically, their Color Vibe cardstock, and their Color Vibe cardstock has, well, two sided, obviously, right? But um, there's a solid on one side. And there's a tone on tone uh, polka dot, very small on the back side. So if you work with a lot of simple stories things, then those little guys are good little guys to have. Okay, uh, let's get this put away. Uh, uh, uh. Um, what are you guys? Um, what are you guys curious? What are you, um, what are you doing today? Um, now, what are you doing after? Um, just curious. April said, hang on. I oh, know, Kylie, thank you for the dabber storage idea. I got a box to hold the little boxes. And look at, this is something that I did uh, when, um, as I've been putting my room back together. So I have a little box that holds the little boxes and it actually fits. And I just had it, but it fits perfect. So there's my little tools, there's my extra little guys, and then they all fit in that little box. I really like the organizing. The organizing is the fun part, right? The purging is not fun, but it's the organizing and kind of organizing all your things that I find very fun. I love that yellow and the pink with it. Okay, there we go. Um, paper piece, how did I not know this existed? A paper piece, tell me what you mean, what is that? How did I not know this? What is this? Um, Diane said, I wish they would come out with their foam thicker alphabets in the darker colors. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if they have plans for that. 
Um, Linda May, that's a great idea. She said you could always outline the page with a colored pencil or pen if you don't have a lot of different ink colors. That's a great idea too. Colored pencils. Um, colored pencils are great for that. Um, Kylie is chilling and still working on sorting her six by six papers to make cards. Tracy's working on prepping travel TN for a river cruise next month. Ah, that's gonna be so much fun. Linda May is putting a hay, the hay in the barn. I took a little break, good for you. It's hot day to be putting the hay in the barn in Utah. Linda May, um, but she's got to do it, right? doesn't matter what it's like. Uh, Lee said, organizing is a separate hobby in itself. Absolutely. And we do feel accomplished when we get things organized, right? Uh, wedding reception, scrapbook sister, April Driggers, organizing her stamps, finishing taking the last of the pics. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, let's see. Catching up, Marilee's catching up on her traveler's notebook. Oh, paper piece, the matching cardstock. Thank you for clarifying. Uh, it's new. It's new. They just came out with that a couple months ago. So yeah, that's, well, their 12 by 12 matching cardstock they've had for quite a while. Uh, but the six by eight paper pads are new. Um, they are new. But what I love about, whether it's the 12 by 12 or the six by eight pads or whatever it is, but um, you know, if they're making the pattern paper and then they're also making the cardstock, um, in a lot of cases, they, um, they coordinate beautifully because it's the same thing, right? Uh, Prim and Planning said Lazy Saturday over here with three little ones. Oh, that's so fun. That is fun, little ones. Miss little ones. Okay, so now we have um, Don't Leave Home Without. So, oh yes. Um, oh, where would those be? Hang on, friends. I know they're here. Oh, look at All nice and organized. All right. Um, color Vibe. Uh, so speaking of Color Vibe, we just looked at the six by eight paper pads, but also have the alpha stickers, right? All of the alpha stickers and all of those same, the bolds, the brights, the lights, the falls, the darks, the winters, spring, summer, uh, loads of them. So what I am going to look for is, hmm, oh, let's just do the yellow. Let's do yellow, I love yellow. Oh, Pink would be cute. So I am going to say um, home. I, home will be the big word in my title and then I'll write the rest around it. Um, so I was looking for yellow. Let's go back to yellow again. Yellow. All right, so there's one yellow. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not quite right. And that was from the uh, spring. So let me look at the lights stickers, um, the lights for a yellow. Aha, that's it. So um, in the Simple Stories sticker books, if you're not familiar with these, there are 12 sheets. There are two sheets each of six different colors. So you can see one sheet is a large alpha. The second sheet is the same alpha but smaller. And then you have the little block letters. So um, I think that is what I will use. Um, but home, I think I'm gonna use home, have home be big. Let's go big. I know we could say like go big or go home. Hi, Vicki. How are you, my friend? How are you? I missed your, um, I saw it. I was on a call with Amy last night, so I missed your, um, your reveal of Peppermint Kisses. I'll have to go back and watch it. It's such a fun collection. So good. Okay, you guys, it's quick um, hydro break. I need to have a little bit of iced tea, so hang on. Um, you gotta hydrate. It's very hot and summery outside, so, well, in the western or um, northern part of the world, in the in the hemisphere, <laughs> north of the equator, whatever I'm trying to say, it's summer and it's hot, so you got to drink. How about that? Um, I get to spend uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think nine days. Is that right? Oh my goodness, nine days. Um, Nine days with Vicki next month, because uh, Vicki and I are both teaching at the Three Craft Chicks um, Lake Lottawashi Retreat in Spokane. Um, let's see. It's rainy? Really? Wow, not hot. I'm glad. I'm good. I'm glad it's not um, hot where you are, Vic. Um, okay. Yes, Nancy, I did ink, um, the white cardstock. Whoopsie. I did ink the white cardstock in pink. I did. And that makes a world of difference, I think. Okay. Home, 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 home. So I'm grabbing my little ruler 
uh, that's another one of my probably most used tools. I don't know, I have lots of most used tools. Uh, my tweezers, my reverse grip tweezers, um, because it's very easy to then place them. Uh, my ruler I use often. What I'm going to use the ruler here for though is, so it's a six inch, um, very thin metal ruler. Whoopsie, so I use it for a ruler. I use it to measure things. You've seen me do that. I used it to make my lines, but now I'm going to use it for my sticker. So I will show you um, how uh, I use it for my stickers and why. Um, Scrapbook Sister said, I wish they make a sticker pad of just the block alphas. Um, you should email them. Um, you should always, always, always ask for what you want. Uh, you may not, they may not do it, but I will tell you, and I know because I worked for Simple Stories for six years, um, they listen. They listen. There, in some cases, had discontinued products that they have brought back because people have requested them. And if enough people request, then they go, oh, you know what? We probably should do that. So never hurts. Never hurts. Now, it's always nice to start that out with a compliment like hey oh my gosh you guys are my favorite company or i love your sticker books love this love that hey would you ever consider doing this because i love this but if you did this it'd be really awesome so you know always that's that well i in in the business world i learned all kinds of things in my past life um much easier if you start out with the positive before you and that's not a negative but before you ask for something or critique you're not critiquing there but if you always 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 like you know let's just say for example uh you order from an online place and uh they forget something in your order it's always nice to say hey i'm so glad i got my order thank you so much um just this thing somehow got missed could you send it to me instead of you know being very um curt because um, people want to help you, but if you're nice, they want to help you more, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so uh, the reason I use my ruler, in this case, I use my ruler because I could use that little horizontal line there to line all those up straight. There are no words, I mean, there's no there's no lines on this white cardstock, right? So I can use the ruler to make sure I get them straight. The second reason why I use ruler is because I can now place that wherever I want. Maybe it goes down below. Maybe it goes above. Do I want it centered? Do I want it left justified? Do I want it right justified? Do I want to go down here? It's free. It's floating, right? It is floating. So I can go anywhere I want. Now, if I want to be centered, um, I... Just move that around, right? Just move that around. It's not sticking because they're stuck to the ruler. I go exactly where I want. Now, I was just thinking where I want to do this. I have a little bit of an idea. I'm gonna see, I, I will see if it will work. I'll either do my title down below that, the rest of it, I'll say things I don't leave home without, and home is there, but that's okay, because um, the focus is on home. But I have another idea. So let's see, I'm going to bring this up here that looks centered-ish. Now all I do is press down on those stickers and then gently roll that ruler out from underneath. Now I have them straight in a line and um, centered left to right. Okay, so what I am thinking, I could try, if I was stamping, I could do a mask for this, but I'm not stamping. So I'll kind of do a reverse mask. So I'm not quite sure if this will work. Let's see, like here's a little piece I had cut off before. If I put that there, you can still see that says home, right? You can still see that says home. If I put it down there, you can still see that it says home. So, but I think it works a little bit better down here. So let me do this, this is just, a piece of my white cardstock that I had trimmed off. So what if we try this? What if I take this little piece and I write on it? I write things I don't leave home without. Let's see if it looks good. Let's see if it looks good. Uh, things I don't leave. Uh-oh. Home, I don't have room for without. So, no worries, we just turn it over and start again. Um, I need to do something here because it's so skinny that I am having a hard time. Um, it's so skinny, I am having a hard time holding it. 
So I am going to take just a little piece of highlighter tape and it is, um, well, it's reusable. That's why I have it on there like that. So highlighter tape, it is meant to not um, stick. It will stick to that, but as soon as I pull it off, then it won't pull off the paper. So that'll make it a lot easier. So let's see. Things, oops, see it moving a little bit. Things I don't leave home without. All right, you don't see me print like that very often. Usually I'm in too much of a hurry. Usually I'm in too much of a hurry. I just put it right back on there. All right, so this, things I don't leave home without. I think that works, because you can still see. I mean, it still says home. We can see that it says home, but I think it's better than if I go there, because then the H, you're like, well, I don't really know what that H is. I don't know what in the H the H is. Oh, wait, Nick. Oh my goodness, you won? You won your flight. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations, honey, I love that. Oh, that's very good. That is very good. That means there's some money on the table. Now, what happens is, I can't remember how many flights there are, honey. How many different flights are there? So now what that means is, they go into like a playoff where all the flights like play against each other. And because everybody's playing to their handicap, their like score gets adjusted for their handicap. So you have the like really good golfers could be playing now against the people that are not as good, but the handicap level's not all out. That also means, honey, I guess that you could be coming home much later than planned. Is that right? Because then we've got to go back later tonight. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm, that's so great. I, a couple of years ago, they won their flight too. What's really cool, um, so um, this tournament he's playing, uh, his partner that he plays with every year is um, one of his fraternity brothers, uh, who happens to also be our financial advisor. So it's just cool how it's all, I love that. That's so fun. Okay, congratulations, honey. Congratulations. Okay, things I don't leave home without. Now, we know we need to add a something little fun because, of course, we've got to have something fun in here, right? We've got to have... Oh, yes. That's when it makes me miss Vicky, too, because Vicky, uh, a couple years, would come into town. If she would come into town this weekend uh, or spend a week with me, she'd come into town and then we would go because the, the, on Saturday night when it's all over, they have a big party, yummy dinner, co outdoor concert kind of thing going on. So... Um, I don't know if you're still here, Vic, but I wish you were here so you could go to that with me tonight. All right, so I could put that there. I mean, I love the lemons, but you know, I, I leave home without my lemons. Generally, I leave. Actually, that's not true. That is not true. There's something else that's got to get added to my list. Um, true lime. Uh, I travel with it. It's in my purse all the time uh, because I don't like to drink plain water, but true lime, uh, is a, um, it's dehydrated lime. It's a little packet of dehydrated lime that you just put in your water. So I really don't leave home without that. Okay. So I, I put this off to the side. That is just not quite the right thing for me. The purple dye, purple is not doing it. Now I could put something over the purple if I wanted, but, uh, I just don't want to have the purple in there. I mean, nothing against those purple people, but, uh, and then that's too weird. <laughs> That little bee is too weird. So, look at, I just, this little guy I think is so cute. Oh, Linda May, true lime is amazing on watermelon. I'll have to try that. I love watermelon. True lime would be good on that. It's kind of like um, when we used to go to Mexico years ago on the beach, there'd be people selling things on the beach and um, they'd be, um, they'd have mango. So the mango would be all peeled and it would be in a cup or on a stick. And then um, they would, you'd buy the mango with the, um, like the, the lime, uh, what's that, what is it called? Tajine or something like that. So good, so, so good. Um, and I, yes, tajine, and I even put, oh, and watermelon. I even put that on um, like melon too, like, uh, uh, um, oh my gosh. Uh, cantaloupe. I'm like, what is the orange melon? Cantaloupe. Ooh, ooh, lime and paprika. Yummy. All right, we totally went on a tangent. Now, this little guy, I just think this little guy is so cute, that little bunny rabbit. So maybe we put a bunny on there. 
maybe we just add a little bunny and see. Bunny's so cute. Things I don't leave home without. That one could be cute. All right, now the only other thing we might do is maybe a little bit of washi. Oh yes, we have to. We have to do the washi because this washi, that's also part of the little things. Uh, let me move that bunny for one second. Um, hey, Nick, if you're still there, I'm sure he's not. I, don't you love that he had to come on and tell us that he won, that they won their flight? I love that's so fun. Because he probably knew you guys would congratulate him, but no, he's very excited, so he had to tell me too. Okay, so we'll just do a little border here of the washi. Um, so um, the little things on the website, loads of products from little things on the website, and there's even a big bundle. The big bundle I started doing with the Simple, Story Collect Simple Stories collections um, a couple of releases ago. So basically it is everything in the collection. 12 by 12 collection kit, the washi, the paper, six by eight paper pad, um, all the things. And um, when you buy the big bundle, it's, um, I have it at 15% off. So if you find a collection you love, then there you go. Um, I had some requests as we're, hold on, I'm looking for something. Uh, as we're talking about big bundle, I had some requests. Um, I had some requests. Oh, to start doing that for the 49 and Market collection. So um, the two new 49 and Market collections that are coming out, uh, the summer one and the Christmas one, I'll also, um, I have big bundles for those too coming. Um, I know, isn't that washy? It just is so cute. It is so cute. Um, all right, so then I feel like I need a little bit of, I just need a little bit of black. I just felt like it needed a little bit of black in there. So what I grabbed here, I grabbed uh, the washi from Simple Vintage Essentials. This is such a good, um, just like add to accent something, pack of washi. Uh, I like the black, because a lot of times, well, sometimes it's hard to find just a good black washi that's got a little bit of decorativeness to it. Just fun patterns and things, but super neutral. So that's what I'm pulling in. That is what I am pulling in. Uh, what does True Lime and Lemon come in? Uh, they come in little packets. Uh, the ones I buy, they look like a little sweet and low packet, right? That's what it looks like. Uh, but I think they might also have a shaker. Do they have a shaker? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see if we like that there with our little bunny. Meh. Oh, it's fine. Well, I'll just move on. Move on. Get over it. Get over it. There we go. Okay, things I don't leave home without. All right, the things on my list that I do not leave home without. I need a, I need a, um, oh, I need a bullet stamp. Sorry, lost my train of thought there for a minute. Oh, I know which one I want to use too. So look at, here we go, bullets and more. I think, uh, Virginia said, I love the double pattern paper background. The lemon page is adorable. It's cute. Um, it's cute. Um, I mean, thank you. <laughs> um, this is kind of a shorter list, so I have a little bit more room since I don't have to write as much, meaning it doesn't need to necessarily be as wide that I can do kind of that double layer going on. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, I was thinking I was going to do a lemon because this is, um, these are the Bullets and More 2 stamp set. So that one has like 70 some odd little bullet stamps. I was thinking I might do a lemon, but I don't think I'm going to do a lemon. I think I am going to do little flower. So it's going to play on one of the little flowers. There's a number of flowers on there, but it's going to kind of play on those little pink flowers that are there. And I will use saltwater taffy to uh, stamp my little bullets. So little teeny tiny stamp, right? Little teeny teeny tiny stamp. What aisle are they in in the store? Um, I don't know. I buy it on Amazon. Um, but if there's someone else that has bought it at the store, uh, if you want to let um, if you want to let uh, Wanda know, I'm sure she would appreciate it. Um, Linda May, I used to use beer salt in lime flavor that is in a shaker. Oh, that totally works too, huh? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Oh, little tiny stamp. That's what I was saying. Little tiny stamp. 
the bullet stamps I use on my little stylus. So that's, in, someone had asked about the different products I have. That is another one of my mail by mail products. It's a little stamping stylus. It is designed for your little teeny tiny bullet stamp. So it's like a little teeny tiny stamping block. The problem with a little teeny tiny stamping block is that if it was short, it'd be really hard for your little fingers to hold on to. So this, you have a nice, comfortable for your hand. It's like pencil size, right? Pencil or pen size, so it, your, your hand is familiar. And um, it's about the length as well. Well, length and circumference of a writing instrument that your hand is comfortable with. How about that? Um, so it makes it really easy to use your little stamp. So I will, this will be a bulleted list as opposed to a run-on. So I'll go like that. Did you hear my noise? Hi, Texas 023. Made it a little late. Nope, you're good. It's an open house. Remember, I always say it's an open house. Come and go as you please. Um, all right. So inked up. And now look at how easy. Look at how easy it is to stamp with that little stamp using that stylus. So see all my little guys there? Uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I need to, before I stamp, I mean, before, not before I stamp, before I, well, before I stamp any more, I need to figure out how many things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, actually not. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 things on my list. Uh, Linda May found it in the Gatorade aisle or the Crystal Light flavoring packets. Um, aisle, actually, I'm just, it is A-I-S-L-E. Aisle is A-I-S-L-E. I-S-L-E is like an island. Aisle versus aisle. Although maybe I know, maybe Linda May, maybe you are buying it uh, on the island of Maui in the Safeway and the Gatorade aisle. How about that? How about them apples? Okay, now I forgot. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh yeah, 13, now I remember. Um, Lily, I'll show you in one sec. And I hope, I hope, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, I didn't even measure, seven, eight, uh-oh, nine, 10, oh my gosh, 11, 12, there is no way that that really worked out. It did. Usually I'm, I'm kind of type A when it comes to that. Usually I measure and then figure it out. All right, so this guy I seemed to clean off really quick. Um, Okay, question was uh, the stylus. So let's take a look at um, the three types of things like this that I have on the website. Well, two, because one, um, one is a packet of two. So that is the stylus. Um, these two little things are brand new. Well, brand new to me, brand new to my website. Um, I've had them in my stash for a while, but you really haven't seen me use these because I knew as soon as I started using them, then you would uh, want to know where to get them. So now you can get them on the website. Uh, but look at these are two small round acrylic stamping blocks. So if we look at the three together, this is the stylus. This is the, um, the small size. That's the large size. Okay. So you could use for sure. You could use your, uh, bullet stamps on either one of those. Um, I think this makes it a lot easier. This is a pack of two and the website will tell you what the dimensions are of each of those. Now, um, I also have brought in from the same company that makes these a bunch of little stamps that fit on here. Just so you know what's coming, um, I will, they're already in the works, but um, I will every release of stamps now going forward, there'll be a small three by three stamp set um, of lail by mail stamps, little icons that fit on these blocks. So they'll be, they won't really be bullets, because they'll be much larger, but they will be fun icons that you can use in lots of different things. So that is the difference between those three stylus, and then these are the um, pack of two um, round acrylic stamping blocks. That was a good question. Uh, Sarah said, well, now I have to get those. Yes, lots of you are getting those. Um, lots of you have been getting those. Okay, let's add a uh, water bottle. I literally, I don't leave home without it. 
I don't know that it has true lime in it, but um, yeah, water bottle. Um, my sunglasses. That's a big one. Um, sunglasses. I always have sunglasses. Always, always, always. I mean, always, I find it fascinating that people don't wear sunglasses. I see people driving around and they're squinting and I'm like, oh my gosh, how do you not have sunglasses? And I'm sure that's probably just me. Not everybody wears sunglasses, I know, but for me, sunglasses is a big thing. Uh, not far behind. Um, and really, this this is in no particular order, but this would probably be number one on my list. My, my glasses glasses. Um, because I can't see without them. I can see far away without them, but I cannot see without them. So that is, that's a big one for me, glasses. Um, mints, like breath mints. That's, I don't know, that's, a, that's I'm, I'm always like paranoid that I have bad breath. I don't know why, no one's ever told me I have, but I just always mint, so there we go. Um, flossers, flossers, you know those little flossing tools? Uh, probably TMI, but I have a um, pocket in um, my upper jaw on both sides, in the middle of my teeth on the sides, and food, it gets stuck in there constantly, so I can't go anywhere without a flosser. Well, flossers, so flossers. Uh, Imitrex. Before, Deborah was talking about her migraine medication. That's my migraine medication. Can't leave without that. That's that's one of those you like panic if if I'm if like I end up somewhere and I'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh what if what if one comes and then I get stressed out and then I get a migraine. Um, Pamela says most obvious keys. So you know what's interesting for me, Pamela? I don't. Uh, the only time I'm taking keys is if I'm driving somewhere because um, we have a like a keypad on our front door so I can get in the front door or I just there's a keypad on the garage I can come in the garage so. Um, I don't, most all, unless I'm driving, I don't take my keys with me. Um, lipstick, that's another one, lipstick. I feel naked without lipstick, so lipstick. Lots of lipsticks, lots and lots of lipsticks. Um, my phone, my phone is a big one. Um, for sure, my phone, a big one. Uh, I feel like I'm naked without that. Now, this is gonna be another funny one, um, and I was joking about it earlier, but really, my American Express. Um, that is probably the card that I use most. And really, it's my business card um, that I have with me most of the times. Um, the other one is driver's license. Gotta have that. Um, lotion, like hand lotion. A nail file. And true lime. Now here's the deal. If I'm not taking a purse, um, Things that don't come with me, mints don't come with me, flosser doesn't come with me, Amitrex can come with me, I can literally put it in my pocket. Uh, lipstick comes with me, phone comes with me. Uh, sometimes Nick's pocket have to hold some of these things. Uh, driver's license, um, lotion doesn't come with me, nail file, true line. So if I have a purse versus not a purse with me, then some of those things don't really play. All right, so we need just something, something, something right here. Okay, something, something, something right here. I know what I think I would like. Um, I did not date my last list yet, and that was on purpose. I did not date my last list because I need to um, fi finish designing it, right? I need to finish designing it, so I'm not sure yet where the date will go. I'm like turning in circles here, guys, uh, figuring out where that goes. Um, what I would like to do here, though, is it's a date. So what I'm thinking is, what if I... What if I took this little guy, this um, stamp, this little date stamp set. So this is one of my new stamp sets called It's a Date. Dates, I think, are super important because if you're not dating any of your projects, whether you're working on a scrapbook page or whether you're working on, even sometimes if you're sending a card to someone on the back, oh, Deborah, wedding ring, absolutely. Um, absolutely, same here on wedding ring. Like if I go to leave the house and I realize I've left him at home, I will turn around and come back because it just seems, it just feels weird to me. Um, and I take mine off every night. I don't sleep with them. I don't shower with them. So it, it, sometimes I just forget them. But yes, that's totally a good one uh, that I forgot. Um, okay, yes, it's a date. It's important to me that I am dating my um, projects because if I don't date my projects, um, then how do I know when 
Do I have a small house sticker? Oh, maybe. Let me look. Um, then how do I know? Like, again, this list now would be very different. Uh, when Jack was born, our oldest, uh, things I don't leave with home without, I could fill probably a whole traveler's notebook insert because you can't leave home without diapers. You learn very quickly you can't leave home without a spare change of clothing for the child because if they happen to have a blowout and you're at the mall, then you need to have a spare set of clothes for them, right? Um, anyhow, so dates to me are super important. I think it's really important that you are dating all the things you do. So you've got a, a reference point, right? You've got a reference point. So let's look at that. What I'm thinking here is I won't, I can't, I can't add the date right there. I can't stamp on top of washi, right? That's not going to work. Um, even if I use stays on, I still wouldn't do it because um, it just is not really going to work well. So I'm thinking maybe here, I just stamp a little date on here and then cut it off. So if I did that, I'd probably do it in black. So let's try that. Let's try that. Um, oh yeah, and then I'll look for a little, uh, I'll look for a little, we'll see if I have a little house, we'll see. So um, in the past we have done a list, like what's in my purse. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, that could be a different take on this type of list, what's in my purse or what's in my backpack or what's in my briefcase or what's in my car or, you know, some of you have things in your car that, you know, are always there. Okay. So there's date. Let's see what happens. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me do this. And let me grab a um, Hang on. I'm just going to grab a small trimmer here real quick and see I would rather do it that way versus um, obviously cut it by hand. But that's a little bit smaller trimmer for me to work with. Okay, so let's see, date. Mm, yeah, no, I don't like the way that looks. Don't like the way it looks there either. Well, that's not bad there, but I guess no, I don't like it. All right, so the date, and then it's too much for it to go right there. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do it right here in this little, hang on, thought. Uh, right there, that little blank space. I... Let's go back to... Hang on. I'm going to do that. Just take away that little black washi and I will try, try, try to get a little tiny bit of that saltwater taffy on that just so it's not so stark. <laughs> Let's see. Hand sanitizer. Uh, Sammy always has a notebook and pen in her purse. Uh, Mitzi said, I'm a, I'm a I'm dental hygienist, so I'm happy you have your floss with you. Uh, yes, you know what? That having pockets, I haven't always had them, but developed them over the last couple of years. Having pockets has probably been the best thing ever for my uh, dental health because I floss now all of the time. And so I just went to the dentist the other day and the dental hygienist and she's like, um, are you flossing? And I said, yes, I am. Um, and she goes, I can tell. And then you're like, yes. You feel like you got a little gold star, right? When the dental hygienist doesn't say, um, well, you really should be flossing. And, and, and then they say, well, you don't have to floss all your teeth, only the ones you wanna keep. That's like, Oopsie, that's like a dental joke, isn't it? You don't have to floss all your teeth, only the ones you want to keep. Yeah. All right. Because I didn't always used to be a good flosser. It's just that now I have to because it hurts. It hurts if I don't. All righty. Uh, that'll be cute. That will work. All right, so now we need our little 
Oh, I gotta think about that. Um, I was going to use my, I was going to use my little um, glue pen, but I thought twice about that because glue pen is not going to stick to washi. Okay, it's not going to stick to washi. So there we go. Today's day is July 15th. Okay, there we go. Don't leave home without it. Okay, um, we are going to move right into, let me put this back. We're going to move right into our next list, which is currently, because I'm doing that on, oopsie, the opposite page. Oh, Terry said, ah, I just unpacked my craft stuff and realized that I forgot the book I'm currently working on. Ah, time to punt. Oh, I hate that, right? You get everything packed and then like one of the main things that you really need, you don't have. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Terry. Okay, let me just get that put away and clean this guy off real quick here and then we'll move on to our next one. Oh, Linda May, when my son was little, he was accident prone, so I couldn't live home without a first aid kit, right? And that's just, a, that's just an example of how things change over time. Linda May, you probably don't uh, leave with the first aid kit anymore, right? But back then, um, and then those of you that want to dive a little deeper into like your memory keeping or kind of scrapbooking, um, you could do a list like this. Um, and you could even do this on a 12 by 12 layout. So you could do something like this. And if I was Linda May, maybe on my list was I'm a, a, um, um, a first aid kit. And then over here on the second page, I might have a photo of my son and then I might do a little bit of a a little bit more of an explanation about one of these. Like the reason why that I don't leave home without this is because. So that would be an easy way to add photos to your project, like a list like this, or um, an easy way to turn it into a 12 by 12 scrapbook page, right? Or like a spread or page or whatever it is. All righty. Gotta put this little guy back on right away. Cause if I don't, then these little guys will come loose. You don't want them to come loose. You don't want to lose them. Um, there, that just reminded me of something. Oh, you know what would have been really fun? There is a house. There is a house. And I remembered that because somebody lost their little house and her things. And she asked if I had another house. Um, Texas 023 earrings, right? Always have earrings on. Same, 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 same. That's usually because I wear the same ones all the time. But, um, a little house, that would have been cute. That would have been a fun little bullet there to go with as well, wouldn't it? Okay, so let me get this put away. Our next list is currently. Um, we usually do this list once every three months or so. Okay, currently. So currently and then a bunch of prompts. So there's either currently with a bunch of prompts or currently with just one prompt. So... If I had thought about this prior to just this minute, oh, no, Leo, oh my gosh, I, I'm such a dingling. I was going to, duh, I was going to say, if I, if I had thought about this prior to this minute, I could have showed you the list of a couple of different types of currently lists. Well, guess what? <laughs> the book, duh. All right, so currently I would find under, I think here and now, so chapter 18, here and now, page 76. If you are new, uh, this is a book that I um, self-published in May. So it's been out for a couple of, wait, what did I do? Here and now. Oh, my, how did, okay. Here and now, here we go. So here are some currently examples. Um, but this book, Listing with Whale, uh, you have um, all of the lists that we did from when we first started in 2020 through the end of 2022. So um, the idea behind this book, inspiration for you. Uh, but you can also go and um, so you can see like here's a currently list. If you wanted to know more about how I did that list, it was done on um, June 18th of 2022. There is the URL for the video for that list. And that list starts at the one hour, 48 minute mark. When you buy the idea book, you receive an email with a link to download the digital version of this book. 
why that's important. You wanna watch that, you go to this list, you click on that in the digital version, it takes you to that video, and then you fast forward to the hour 48 minute mark. So um, something like this, that I did a bunch of fun mixed media when my friend Vicki was here and she was teaching me how to mix media, you could go see that little session when we did the list and kind of learn how to do some of those techniques, whatever. Um, there's a couple of different ways that I use the currently stamp set. So that's the one I'm going to grab right now, and then I'll show you those ways. Um, oh, I'm going to forget giveaways again. Okay, uh, one of the giveaways is the idea book. So if you win the idea book you, um, and already have it, then I just send you a, um, a coupon code for $25 for the website because that's the value of the idea book. Uh, the currently stamp set, four by four stamp set, it has the word currently and then a whole bunch of different prompts. Watching, listening, reading, learning, enjoying, liking, disliking, loving, drinking, trying, considering, whatever. So lots and lots and lots of different ones. So there's a couple of different ways I use this stamp set. Uh, sometimes I will, and this is the way I will do it today. Sometimes I will use the stamp and then just stamp a bunch of the different prompts, okay? And then really basic. Other times I will like focus in on just one prompt. Like this was currently watching. So I listed the shows I was currently watching. This one is things I was currently loving. Uh, this guy, podcasts I'm currently listening to. So lots of different prompts or narrowing or focusing in on one particular like things you're listening to. Okay, so, oh, let's get this guy ready. Might as well get him in the book. So, here's my little guy. Um, could I tease you at the end of the video and we'll open, open one of the cabinet doors, even if it's empty? Absolutely, I will. Sure, sure, sure. Um, just remind me, because I will probably forget. Um, April, are my currently lists all one-pagers? April, I would say yes. Um, for me, they're all one-pagers. Now, if you really like to do two-page lists, then um, what I would suggest is um, take one of the things on your currently list, like maybe um, what you're currently watching. Um, so you have all of your things over here, and then maybe you were watching uh, the new Indiana Jones movie. So on the second page, you could do, um, you could, go to Google and search for the um, movie poster for the Indiana Jones movie, save it to your phone, print it out as a photo, and then write a little bit more about that movie or um, things that you're currently listening to. Maybe take a screenshot of the playlist on your phone and put that there. Or um, if you're currently, um, uh, I don't know, celebrating someone's birthday, then you could have a photo on the other page of the birthday party. But yes, m mine are usually one pagers. Um, all right, so I decided I wanted to use this pretty paper here. Now, mm -mm, actually, I am not going to use paper. I am not going to use paper because I usually just write on the page, write on the page itself. So, Oh, that is the best die cut in all of the world, the squirrel. I love it so much, but I'm not going to use the squirrel. So probably what I will do, we'll do something a little bit um, more neutral here because I do want to, um, I do want to just stamp directly on the paper and then make my list on the lines. So if we put that there, that would still kind of work together, right? Uh, and then... Maybe, I don't know, somewhere in here, I could do like a little butterfly or something and just have it be really pretty basic. Uh, if I wanted to bring in more color, oh, too much. Uh, you know what? I what, 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 what might I want to do there? Um, I have some paper strips here. If I wanted, oh, look at this. What if we did this? Oh, that won't work, too wide. Okay, too wide, so my currently won't fit. Now, uh, if I stamp currently, well, let's look at, maybe it's okay, currently. This could go here. Currently would fit if I wanted it to. That way, it now kind of makes them blend a little bit more together, but then it looks really funny without this page. 
if it's just that guy by itself, huh? Then it's a little bit stark. If this went over here, this went here. I'm just thinking of how this would look by itself. I know that sounds funny, but I'm thinking about the next idea book because it's coming. Uh, it, there will be a new one that comes out at the beginning of 2024. Uh, probably end of January 2024 because it will be all of our lists from 2023. So I'll keep doing supplements to those. What if we did that? Then it wouldn't look so funny by itself currently. Let's do it. All right, this is going to be a little bit wider than I want it to be. So this is just the leftover from that, right? Just the leftover from that. So don't throw these guys away. Oh, have that other side too. Don't throw them away, uh, but it's a little bit too wide. So right now it is one and three quarters. What if I go to one and a quarter? That will be just a nice little accent there. But I do need to round the corners. I do need to round the corners. I decided we should do four today. I mean, that was always the plan. Four lists was always the plan. This one will go pretty quick because it's just pretty, I mean, some lists take a lot longer than others, right? Especially if we're stamping. Um, sometimes, like when we did the first list, some things just take a little bit longer. And that's just, it is what it is. But there's no time frame. There's no list police that say you have to be done by this amount of time. Unless it's Nick and we're like trying to get out of town or something and he's like, come on, we've got to go. No list police. We're just playing. Because I just, once I'm done with this, I'll go eat something and then I'll be right back in here cleaning up the mess that I've made and then I've got to keep putting things away. So, so far I've done pretty good job, if I do say so myself, of having the things that I needed um, if I having the things that I needed to be here. So that's good. Um, hi, Carla. Nice to see you. Uh, no, Terry. And Terry just asked, now with Nick's golf one, do you need to be on a time limit? Actually, now it's it's even longer because um, his, um, because now they go into some kind of, well, playoffs or something. They go into a playoff, however that works. I don't know. He's just excited. I'm excited for him. That's very awesome. Um, I do not golf. Golf is not my thing. It is definitely not my thing. Um, I don't, it's just one of those things. You have to, you really have to work at it, right? You have to work at it. And I don't really enjoy it. And it's Nick's thing. And, you know, it gives both of us um, time to do our own things. So that's good. All right, currently, that will work. Now, I have a little bit of this space up here. So we're, we're kind of boxing ourselves in, unless I do a little bit more like that. Well, I still have space up there, Lael, and I don't want it to be like that. So we'll do something up there in a minute. Let's get this guy down. Um, da -da -da -da. Here we go. Um, uh, Kristen, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, the store that Kristen went to did not have what she was looking for. So she said, I guess I'll have to buy them from you, which I love that when that happens. I love it when that happens. No, I know it's, you know, it's not everybody can carry everything. Same here. I don't carry everything. There's just, there's too much. There's too much for everybody to carry everything. So, but you know, I always like it when you shop for me, but I like it too when you support the in the, the local scrapbook stores too. I mean, you don't need to go support in like the Michaels and the Hobby Lobby because they don't need your support. But yeah, it's important that we support our local scrapbook stores as well because, well, it's any small business, right? Any small business, local small business, if we want them to be around, we need to support them. 100%. All right, let me go ahead and get this guy down. Um, I, on my list today, well, not this one, right, but um, my other list so far, I've been working, I call them off the page. I have been working off the page. Um, once I get about halfway through an insert, if I am creating um, a background like this, I just find it's easier to create it off the page, and then when I'm done, come back in and adhere it. I just think that's a little bit easier. All right, so currently, currently, I need a couple of things here. I will stamp this in black. So my black ink is already out. I need, um, oh yes. 
I'm going to grab my pencil board. So pencil board. A pencil board is a fancy name for a flat surface that you put underneath something that you are writing on or stamping on to make it easier for you to do your work, okay? Um, I am going to use it on the right page. Generally, you see it used on the left page. The reason why you would use it on a left page if you were stamping uh, would be because, let me find one in here, like this one, okay? That is stamped directly on the insert itself. There are things that have happened before this page that could interfere with my stamped result. So there could be bumpy, lumpy things under here. And if I put a pencil board underneath that before I stamp, it now gives me a nice flat surface to stamp on, okay? Pencil board. Uh, this is one that someone made for me. Nancy Gullison made this for me. It's just made out of chipboard, thicker chipboard that she covered with pattern paper. This is one of my products. It is a um, 1 8 inch thick piece of acrylic, rounded corners, so when you put it under, it doesn't tear your pages. Um, there's grid on it, uh, and the grid is on it so that if you wanted to use that for a stamping block, a larger stamping block, you could. Some of you tell me that you actually use this to be able to trace your outlining around your pages because um, it's a straight line and then it also has your rounded cor um, corner there. Uh, they are clear. When you get it, it's clear. Um, so I just take acrylic paint and you'll see this on the website. Um, there's a little video that shows you, I think I show you what to do or Amy shows you what to do. I don't remember. Um, but you just take a little bit of acrylic paint and a little goes a long way. Um, you put it on there and just basically paint it on fingerprint, finger paint with your finger and then dry wipe it, dry wipe it with a dry paper towel that will remove all of the paint from the surface and that will leave all the paint in the little grooves. And then um, you can see the lines and then it's kind of decorative too. So, um, like I said, normally I'm using that on the left page, but I'll use it here on the right page because a lot of times you don't use it on the underneath the right page because nothing has happened, but um, also just gives you a nice hard flat surface to stamp on. Um, as, as I get that ready, let me grab a block. The couple things about stamping. We were talking earlier about maybe um, why you might not like to stamp. Um, there are a couple of key things for me when I am stamping that I think make a huge difference. Number one, I always, always, always recommend that you stamp standing up, okay? Even if you never, ever, ever stand when you're crafting, I suggest that you stamp standing up. Uh, the reason is you have a lot more leverage, right? You have a lot more leverage. If you sit down, sit down, and like your arms are next to you, you can't really like lift up and then come back down again. It's like you have little T-Rex arms, okay? If you stand up, you have a lot more leverage when you are stamping. So that's the first one. Um, next one is to stamp on a hard surface. And I know that sounds funny, right? Um, don't stamp on a bed because you're gonna have a lot of give. You don't want any give, you want hard surface. Don't stamp on a bed. Don't stamp on a card table or a folding table or a TV tray or something like that. There's too much give in that. You want to stamp on a hard surface. Um, standing wise, if you, I work at a countertop height uh, my craft desk is countertop height, um, but if you um, if you don't have a countertop height where you are working, uh, like maybe you work on the kitchen table, I would stamp on the counter. Hi, Lizzie. Nice to see you. Um, stamp on a counter. Go take your project and stamp on the counter because you are a lot closer than if you're um, stamping like on a table. And the table is usually lower. Being on a higher surface, um, I find for me, it just works much better. So those are a couple of things that um, will help you um, will help you in your stamping. So mm -mm -mm. I am. I'm going to pull out a. <laughs> think about this. I'm actually going to take out my pencil board. Um, I have, because I need to get really close here, I gotta think about this. Um, that, 
I'm going to grab a different stamping block, you guys. Hang on. I have loads. I have loads of stamping blocks. Look at all of these. Um, the reason I'm going to grab a different stamping block is because I needed something wider. Uh, this, you are Lizzie, you are at TM Treasured Memories with Denise, Sandy, Elaine, Jen, and Karen. I love it. Say hi to everyone for me, please. I saw pictures of you guys driving down. Um, okay, so um, this is one of the nested stamping blocks that I have, right? So there's a package of four. I needed this size because the currently was a little bit too long to go on this one. This size has these little bumpers. And as I um, move over here, everything is a little bit, it's, it's the stamping block because of the bumpers is a little bit raised on the left side of my page, which makes me think I'm not going to be able to get a, a good stamped impression. It won't be as solid as I want it to be. Now, I can't do this. I can't move this over here because there's so many pages here that have now happened. This will not stamp at all. Nothing would stamp over here. So I just need to kind of play with um, what I have. That is why generally, uh, that's what I want. Generally, uh, that's why I have a lot of different stamping blocks because you never know what you need. Um, that is a tool that, um, no, where'd my stamp go? That is a tool um, as far as investing goes is um, investing in different size stamping blocks is, um, is if you can, it's a good thing uh, because you never know what you need. Um, otherwise, you have to go with the lowest common denominator, which would be using something like this for all of your stamps. And it just makes, not, not that it can't be done, just makes it a little bit harder, okay? Just makes it a little bit harder. All right, so we know we want this in black and I need my little uh, testing notebook here. Are you guys having fun, Lizzie? Are you, I bet you guys are having fun. Treasured Memories is a store that um, I used to teach at in Southern California. Um, would, would, oh my goodness. Holy cow, I can't even remember now. It starts with a W. Near Thousand Oaks. How about that? Near Thousand Oaks. Um, and they have, um, now they do um, Retreats at hotels, but I don't think she calls them retreat pop-up shops like pop-up shops and crops at hotels um, But such a lovely Christine um, Such a lovely woman and just amazing. She's been in business for a long time. Westlake Village. Thank you, Sarah There we go. Hi Lainey and JLo. I love it. You guys are all popping in. I love it Okay, so there's currently and all inked up and let's go ahead and do our stamping lovely 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 bring this back and okay let's I'm gonna end up with a little trapped white space in between but that's okay that's all right all right nice and inky um, you pretty much see me use distress oxide inks for all of my stamping with the exception of black that is the best in my opinion that is the best uh, black ink. Um, I love it. It is Versafine Claire. It is a pigment-based ink um, by Sukaniko. And um, it just always is a very nice, um, solid, dark black. There we go. Okay. So what I may do, I think I'm going to take out my little hand. Oh, hold on. No, no. No, no. No, no. Clean up after you use it. Uh, JSN Creations Full. Do I ever teach in Michigan? Um, years ago, there was a um, an event that I taught at in Michigan. Um, Great American Scrapbook Convention. I think that was Michigan. Um, but I haven't in, in a number of years. Um, and I realized, not the same state, um, but when you're from the western part of the United States, it's, cl it's close. Uh, Wisconsin. Um, I am teaching at an event in October in Wisconsin called She Loves Color. Uh, and that is a mm -hmm, three day, two and a half day event. 
Um, if you're ever one, oh, it's kind of in general, if you're ever wondering where I'm teaching or what's coming up project wise, product wise, what have you, there is a link on my website uh, that says coming soon and you will find that information there. So if you wanted to learn more about that event, then you could go click on the little link there. What did I do with those stamps now, friends? Where did they go? The Mega Meat, yes, Kylie, the Mega Meat. In, yeah, that's been a really long time. I don't even think that exists anymore. Uh, when I worked for uh, Scenic Route, when I worked for Scenic Route, I taught at that event a couple times. That has been a long time, long time. Um, Wisconsin is not, there, it's still the Great American, or the, the Mega Meat, the Mega Meat. Okay, it's still there? That's crazy. That's been a long time. That was like 2005, I bet, when I did that. Been a lot of years. Okay, so now we are ready for our prompts. So I did, um, let's see, I better make sure I have room for all these things before I start. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, do we have room for 13? These little guys all fit in uh, between the lines on the insert. That's how I designed them. So, oh, I've got plenty of room, plenty of room. So let's see, I started out with watching. Whoopsie. I started out with watching. But now I'm gonna go back to where I was headed before I thought I better stop and clean. Get my ruler. I will do just a little underline here. Oopsie. Do a little underline here. That little underline will help to separate. And then it also kind of reinforces the little bow, right? Kind of reinforces the little bow. Uh, that little trapped white space in here. If I do something like that, that little guy kind of fills it in. I don't know, we'll see that in a minute. Okay, so I think what I may end up doing is, how many lines here do I have? Twenty. Okay, if I go to 16, then I'll put something else down here. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, that is not working. That's a lot. Uh, for me, the reasons that why that's not working, this now totally overpowers that, right? It's like, wait, the little things, what? What, what is, oh, currently, yeah, too much. Um, that is too much. So let's look down here. Oh, I like this one. Look at this little typewriter. The little typewriter says, write it down. It says, write it down. So what if this came over here? If this came over here, like so. Oh, I have to fix this paper because you can't really see that it's paper. Okay, and then we'll make it work. Okay, that will work. That will work. Oh, and then we could do maybe a little butterfly like this. So I'm just in the sticker book here. Butterfly. Well, it doesn't really fix my trapped white space, but it's cute. We'll just put them there. Okay, let's stamp. Let's do some more stamping. So I am starting with the word watching. Watching. And I, howie, what is that? What does that hurt? About this little guy. Um, Novi, that's right. Oh yeah, that won't work, Lil. What are you doing? That won't work. Novi, Novi, Michigan. I forgot that. I forgot that it was in Novi. Um, 
Mega May is still in Novi. The same group does Dear Widows Weekend in Bertrand, and another group does a stamp show near the Southfield Police Station. So Dear Widows, um, we have that in Utah too. It's Deer Hunt Weekend, right? And so sometimes they do things like things that, yeah, for Dear Widows to do, I guess, huh? So, mm -mm, I don't know. This is just, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Can't do that yet. Got to come back here. So always have to test it first. Watching. This is going to be an example um, of a situation where, and I'm going to show this two different ways, where it's good to have a feel for the stamp that you want to test it first. Because look what happens. On the left, I just applied very slight pressure, but look at the right. See how it happens to the words? Like the W is totally like spread out because I pressed really hard when I was stamping. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, if you test stamp first, you'll get a feel for the stamp. Um, in this case, because those little thin words are so thin, the harder you press, the um, the more the ink is going to spread out. And you may not mind if that happens. It's just one of those cases that you probably want to know. And that is also not quite straight there. All right. So I think we're ready. We'll see. Watching. We, oh, I spread it out a little bit. Oh, well. Watching. We just finished 1883. Um, 1883 is a prequel to Yellowstone. Oh my goodness, is it good. Oh, it's so good. So good. One season. Um, I don't think they're making another season. One season, 1883. If you watched Yellowstone... Uh, well, really, it doesn't even, you don't even need to watch Yellowstone because it really, it stands alone. It really, there's nothing that you need to know about Yellowstone um, to watch that. So it's very good. Enjoyed that very much. I can't tell you what streaming service, uh, Paramount Plus or something, I don't remember. Um, I always just Google and then it tells you where to find it. But, um, uh, I mean, 1883, very good. Um, it's so, so um, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Uh, are the main characters in it. And then Sam, um, not Sam Hunt, Sam Shepard. Sam Shepard? Is that his name? Can't remember. Uh, the Sam really gruff, low voice that was in um, A Star is Born. I can't remember his name offhand, though. Um, yes, oh, so good. So, so good. The the Sam Elliott, thank you. Thank you, Kylie. Um, Kylie and um, and Mary, Mary J. Um Gabby says she's never seen Yellowstone, but just had a bourbon that the show is apparently based on. I don't know. I don't know about that. Listening. Oh, listening to um, New To Me. This is a New To Me artist. Um, when we were in Denver a couple weeks ago, staying with our friends, um, Kathy and Alex, we um, had gone there to see uh, the George Strait uh, George Strait, Chris Stapleton, Little Big Town concert. Um, and so Kathy and Alex turned us on to um, a young artist named um, Dermot Kennedy. Dermot Kennedy. Oh, he is good. Very good. Um, apparently he is Irish and um, he was discovered on the streets of Ireland, somewhere, Dublin, maybe. I don't remember. He was a street artist. Um, very good. Uh, Terry, yes, Taylor Swift is in Denver. My dear friend, Kathy, I think uh, she went last night. Well, Kathy, Kathy, the, the friend that we were there to see. Um, anyhow, Dermot, D-E-R-M-O-T, Kennedy, like the Kennedys. Um, yes, very good. Um, if you know the artist James Arthur, kind of reminds me of that a little bit, um, but very, um, very nice voice, very talented young man. So listening, Dermot Kennedy. Uh, again, this is a time capsule list, right? Because this is currently a very specific point in time. If you had asked me this, oh, I don't know, 24 years ago, I probably would have said Barney. Listening to Barney or listening to the Teletubbies, right? Because that would have, that's what would have been on repeat in our house 
because of the Jack. Um, enjoying. All right, next up, enjoying. I am very much enjoying my new craft room. My new craft room. Well, I mean, it's not a new craft room because I've had the craft room, but it's the whole new, every, the setup is just, um, just very, very, very pleased with it so far. Oh, guess what I didn't do? I think I have not been testing. I'm going rogue. Enjoying. My new craft room. So a list like this, um, this is a great way, I think, to, um, this is a great way to get younger people, kids, into writing or journaling or telling their story. This is a totally easy list. You have grandkids. Nancy has her grandkids there. Her 10-year-old, even the 6-year-old, she could sit down and say, okay, guys, um, what are you currently watching? What are you listening to? What are you doing? What are you playing? What are you enjoying? What are you liking? What are you disliking? And then she has a little snapshot of her little grandkids at that age. Um, I think if you're a teacher, this would be a really fun thing to do with students. Maybe at the beginning of the school year, midway through the school year, end of school year. Um, have them do something like this. I wish, wish, wish I had done, you hear me say this a lot. I wish I had done lists like this throughout my whole life because when I was in high school, how, how fun would it be to go back and look at something like this from when you were in high school? Um, I wish that I had things like this of my mother's, my grandmother's. Wouldn't it be cool to like go look at my grandma wrote a list in the 50s of what she was currently, all of these things. It'd be so cool. So that's why um, I think doing what we do is really important because it is, we're documenting, right? We're, but we're documenting in a totally different way. Um, you know, some days... Someday, not someday, someday um, our boys, Jack and Sam, men, they're adults, uh, maybe would look at something like this and be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that about mom. Or, oh yeah, do you remember that one time? Or, you know, remember when mom would only drink water if um, it had true lime in it? Or, you know, whatever. But I'm drinking iced tea. Iced tea. Uh, because I like iced tea. I um, do not like at all, actually, it's iced tea with true lime because that's what I put in it. Um, iced tea. I do not like hot tea. Anyone else with me? No hot tea, just iced tea. Hot tea tastes like dirty water to me, but iced tea is yummy. Um, Marilee, I love it. Sam Elliott is a silver fox who hasn't aged. He looked like that way back in Mask. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. And his voice, oh, my goodness. Don't even get me started on his voice. I love it. Love his voice. Um, Ed Sheeran, Mary J and Wanda. I know I saw that when we were leaving the stadium, uh, there was a big billboard for Ed Sheeran and, um, Khalid. Khalid is opening for Ed Sheeran. And, uh, when I saw, when we were there visiting Vicky and Rich, um, well in Toronto, um, whatever, last month we were there. Um, Vicky, that night that we left, they took us to the airport and then she and her daughter Devin went and saw that concert. I would love to see that concert. Love, love, love. I love live music. We really like live music a lot, so it's fun. Um, April said, do you ever do a snapshot in time and put the cost of things, top song on the billboard list, top box office movie, etc." cetera? Um, April, we have done something similar to that. We did... Um, we did something with uh, like the cost of things, but you know what? Um, I really like that idea of expanding it. So I'm just going to very quickly in our master list of lists, because I will never remember, I'm going to write that down, that we do a, um, um, like I'll write that snapshot in time. Um, So we go top movie, song, like TV show, gas price, things like that. So we had done one in the past, but it was more focused on just like prices of things. And usually we would do that like at the end of the year. So it's a gallon of gas. How much does a stamp cost? How much um, is a movie ticket? How much is a loaf of bread? Things like that. All right, planning.
Now, obviously I'm using the stamp set because that's fun and easy, but this is a list you don't have to have a stamp set for, right? Um, fall classes and kits. That's what I'm currently planning. Um, but you could just do all these prompts and just write them all down, right? You don't have to, I always say, the only two things that you need, something to write with and something to write on. All the rest is just fluff, right? I mean, I like the fluff, don't get me wrong. Well, it's my business is the fluff, but um, you don't have to have any of it, right? Something to write with, something to write on. Uh, feeling, what am I feeling? I am feeling, um, I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling energized. Um, as Nick has been golfing all hours, um, there are very long days and he gets back late. Well, last night he got back at like, I don't know, 8.30, so it wasn't bad. But the night before he got back at like 10.45. So I've been feeling very energized working on projects um, because I don't have to stop. Now, when he's home, it's not like I have to stop, but it's nice to spend time together. So I just work, 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 right? I can just, you know, work until the other night until 10.30, 10.45 when he got home. So then in having a new space um, and reorganizing everything just has made me feel very energized. So um, are you guys doing a currently list with me? If you are, tell me one of the things that is on your currently list. Even if you are not um, doing this with me, um, still tell me one of the things on your list. Like what are you currently watching or what are you currently listening to? Um, it doesn't have to be today, but um, I'd, I'd love to hear. Because if we were all in person, we'd be chatting about all this. It's just that we're not in person and I can't hear you. You can hear me. So it's just me talking. Um, Creative Cindy, do I ever go to the outside theater, the amphitheater in Sandy? Yes. Um, it is across the street from Alta View Hospital. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a little while since we've gone to one of those. I think the last one we went to there was Nora Jones. And that was good. I love Nora Jones, but oh my goodness, she was not, uh, she was not engaging at all, at all. And I'm sorry, but you know what? And I know everyone has a bad day, but guess what? If you are a performer, you kind of have to be engaging. You kind of have to, you know, put the things off to the side and engage with people. That would be like me. This is performing, right? When I teach, I'm performing. When I'm teaching in person, even if I'm having the worst day ever, I kind of have to put that off to the side because that's my job, right? Um, so that part was kind of disappointing. I mean, she still plays the piano and sings. Ama she's just amazingly talented, but not engaging at all. And you're like, mm, people really would like to engage with you, so she'll probably chat with the audience. Uh, liking. Um, oh, I'm liking spending time. on our patio in the back. Um, we, my, uh, let's see, Jack, our older son, and um, his girlfriend, Kat, were in town kind of over that 4th of July period of time. And my sister and her husband just happened to be in town at the same time. So we were there, like out there every night. We were enjoying that so, so much. It was just lovely. So I'm um, liking that. Eating a bunch of junk. Eating a bunch of junk. That is I'm calling a spade a spade. I am not uh, in a healthy mode right now. And you know what? It is what it is right now. And so I'm eating a bunch of junk. But that's what I'm doing. So I'm saying that's what I'm doing. <coughs> I'm owning it. I am own owning it. Eating a lot of junk. Junk, 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 not good for you. You know better, junk. Um, let's see. I'm going to scroll up and read some of now what you guys are doing. Uh, oh, Deborah is currently drinking blackberry jasmine iced tea. That sounds wonderful. Gabby is watching Ted Lasso. Um, jelly roll. Kylie, jelly roll. Like a pen of jelly roll or jelly roll like the pastry jelly roll? Uh, Wanda is watching the last season of Blacklist. Oh, that seems like it's been on forever. We loved it, loved it, loved it. And you know, sometimes you just start to lose interest. Um, but it'd be interested to see how they wrap that up. Very interested to see how they wrap that up. Uh, Sarah's drinking green iced tea and putting together Halloween cards. Very good. Uh, ooh, Carla's making um, vacation plans for September. 
Uh, Tracy's listening to the Retrievals podcast about the Yale Clinic for IVF. Very interesting. Um, is that a controversial one, Tracy? I'm just wondering, because I know some of the uh, IVF, um, there's some drama that that they turn into podcasts or shows based on, you know, things that they shouldn't have been doing. I'm just curious. Uh, Deborah's listening to Close Reads podcast. I do not know that one. Mm. Debbie's watching Jack Ryan. Brett Jones. Brett Jones. Uh, Brett Jones. Poison? Who's Brett Jones? Mitzi, do I have that right? Poison, maybe? Uh, Gabby's currently loving true crime podcasts. Um, oh, Diane went to Linda Ronstadt uh, years ago. Not engaging. That's a bummer, right? Ooh. Um, Deborah's addicted to eating Werther's caramels. Brett Young. Brett Young. Oh, Sarah's eating an heirloom tomato pizza. It was delicious. Trader Joe's strawberry lemonade JoJo's. It's ice cream season. It is, I know. Liquid diet for two days. Oh, April. Colonoscopy prep. Oh, goodness. You know what? Good for you. Good for you, right? It's, we got to do it. And you know what? It's not that bad, but oh, yeah. It's, for, for me, it's like this. Um, you know how they, they say that when you have kids that there's something that happens in your brain that it makes you not remember the, um, like the, the whole process. Um, I think that's colonoscopy because when you're, when you're prepping for it, you're like, ah, but then months later, you're like, oh, it wasn't that bad. It's really not that bad. Disliking. And I know this is, this is, I have full control over this. I dislike that I'm feeling unhealthy. Uh, and you know what? That you can change with the snap of fingers, right? <laughs> You just got to do it. Um, Diane is actually scrapbooking. She never has in the past. Diane, that is fascinating. That is fascinating. Um, I would be very interested in knowing how that came about. Brett Young, country artist with a great story. I'm going to have to look at that. I like country. I really like country. Um, oh, suits, Tabitha. Hi, Tabitha. I love suits. Oh, we love suits. So much. So, so much. Um, that is a, um, I don't know how many seasons it was, but, um, it is a legal series, you know, fiction, um, that, um, actually, uh, Megan Markle, uh, was in prior to, um, dating. I actually, I think they were dating a little bit when she was still doing it, but prior to her marrying Prince Harry, but uh, doing lots of organizing, Oh, and um, um, Her no, not Harry, uh, Harvey, Harvey. Oh, Harvey is quite the nice looking man in suits, isn't he? Oh, he is. The retrievals. Okay, I need to watch that. A nurse who diverted meds and women had procedures in complete pain. <gasps> in the retrievals? Oh, see, I wondered if there was something. I wondered if there was something there. Oh, that's awful. That's awful. Um. Eating a sandwich and listening, love it. Oh, it's 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 time. It's time to eat. Brett Michaels. Okay, I was close. It's, it was a Brett, right? And I am not a um, Karen. If Karen Haynes was here, she would have been very proud that I knew that because she is like a poison, the band poison um, groupie. She loves them. She's seen them like twenty eight thousand times um, in concert. Um, okay, reading is next. Reading, reading, reading. Oh, I have not been reading much lately. Uh, there's just too many other things that I've been doing, which makes me sad because I love to read. Um, in fact, I had to go look at my Kindle to see which book I was reading because I couldn't even remember it. But it's a book called In the Clearing. In the Clearing, about a, a girl that disappears and then they find her and she has died. Um, and then it turns into a cold case and then years later, someone is trying to solve it. Oh, Deborah's currently learning French. That is fun. Uh, also planning their cruise to Paris in the heart of Normandy. Very good. Jurist is having a Krispy Kreme donut. Hi, Jurist. Um, okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Uh, Terry said, because of my diabetes insipidus. I don't know the insipidus. I have to be admitted in the hospital for my colonoscopy prep so they can check my vitals. Nothing like prepping and getting blood drawn. Or, oh, Oh, goodness, yeah. The Inmate was good, yeah. April just finished a book called The Inmate. Uh, 
reading the mostly true story of Tanner and Louise. I don't know Tanner and Louise. Murders in the building. Um, Wanda doesn't read very much. Um, so right, but you know what? You could be reading. You could be reading um, the newspaper. You could be reading. Well, newspaper. I don't know if anybody reads that anymore. You could be reading blogs. You could be reading um, articles on the internet about how to stamp. No, I, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have to necessarily be reading a book or that's the point of all of the different prompts on here. You don't have to use them all. You might be like, well, some of those don't apply to me, but others may. So, um, all right, friends, I think what I'm going to do, I am going to, I have some more to do on here, but it's just take, you know, so I'm going to stop this list right now. Um, I will come back and finish these and then I will put something right in here. Maybe I'll look for that very quickly. I'm going to put something right in there. And I think, guess what it is? Uh, let me look here first. Oh, that's the pad. That's not the sticker book. Oh, why do I have two pads? That needs to go over there. Um, where's the sticker book? Hang on a moment. I know, oh, duh, right here in front of me. Right here in front of me, I was just checking to see if you're paying attention. All right, again, those are a little bit, those are a little bit too big. I don't want those there. I don't want those there. Although, I could do something like, what about this? What if I did something like this? This is yay for today. Or little details, maybe, let's, let's look, little, de little details. Let's see what that looks like, or noted. Yeah, no, not gonna happen there. Uh, the reason I don't like that there, and that's not the right size, right? Let me just hold onto this so you can see. Not the right size, but that boxes things in too much. Like that and that, it'd be, for me, boxing it in too much. So we will not do that. We will very quickly look for a, um, 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 actually, hang on. Now that I, aha. Uh -huh. The Simple Vintage Essentials sticker book has typewriter keys, alpha. Oh, somebody was saying this, um, Scrapbook Sista, I think. This sticker book has, um, it, well, at least two pages of the black and the white or cream um, block stickers. Looky here, uh, black and cream. So I might find something that could go right in here. Um, good times, um, that would work. Good times, you did it. Um, I need something that's a little bit smaller. Let's see, uh, I mean, we could do this. Look at, what about remember this? And with remember this, I would just do this to it. I am going to, oh, love it. Uh, Kylie, that's hilarious. What a great typo. In the chat, Kylie wrote, don't forget to like the lice uh, or live. Yes. So yes, I would love it if you guys would do that. If you're, if you're still here uh, or if you're watching after the fact on the replay, uh, yeah, give it a like. Give it a thumbs up, please. Um, so uh, give, I just remembered, uh, remember, I was talking uh, a little bit about giveaways and I said I was talking about the idea book would be a giveaway. And if you already had it, you'd just end up with a, um, you'd end up with a coupon code for the $25, which is what the book is worth, um, or worth. I shouldn't say it's what it's worth, um, it, what the price of the book is. Um, the way that you participate in the giveaways, uh, you leave a comment on the video when it's over. So not in the chat. Hi, Adeline. How sweetie. I love that you just popped in. Uh, Adeline is Tabitha's daughter. And sometimes Adeline likes to come and list with this. I love it, I love it, I love it. So fun to have you here. I'm so glad you said hello, Adeline. Um, um, oh yes, it's the way you participate in the giveaways. Leave a comment on the video when it's over. Uh, next Saturday morning before we get started, I will draw um, two random lucky winners. Well, probably more than two because I didn't do giveaways last time because I forgot. That's the first one, idea book. Um, hi, Shay. Okay, so there we go, and all I'm going to do is I'll just add the rest of my little prompts there, and then that will be done. And then I need a, after I do that, I will probably do a little date stamp down here. So I need to date that. That will be very important, because if you're going to take the time to do currently, well, when the heck is currently if you don't date it? 
All right, our last list, you guys, our last list. Um, I need to, I'm going to skip a page and I will show you why I'm skipping a page. This is an important um, thing when you are stamping to remember and think about and check before you start doing any work. Um, I stamped correctly, correctly. I stamped currently, correctly. I stamped the word currently directly on the insert page, right? Directly on the paper. Um, the inserts that I use um, are a good thickness. They're not too thin, but what will happen, especially if you're using a darker color, especially if you are using um, a stamp that has kind of larger surface area like that, you will see some shadowing or ghosting on the back side or on the front side, right? So you can see, let me just put that there. I'm waiting. I'm about 15 seconds maybe um, ahead of you guys from what you can see. So I want to make sure you can see that. But do you see that ghosting? You see that um, it's ghosted or bled through a little bit, which is fine. There's nothing we can do about that. But on my next list, I already know, well, I have two options actually. I was going to stamp directly on here. Maybe I'll just flip it and I'll stamp directly on here because I have a photo that's going to go here. Um, but in this case, if I wanted to do a list on there, I just wouldn't do my list directly on the paper. I would do something like this where I put a background down first. So this was an easy one for me to figure out because when I turned the page, I saw it. Oh yeah, I can't do that. Ones that can kind of get you maybe an aha moment is if here I was stamping and I wasn't paying attention to this side. I stamp, what if I stamped something big right here and then I went, oh no, because it would bleed or shadow or go through to the back side. So always pay attention, just look to see before you start doing anything, if you need to make a modification, like here I would need to make a modification and put a piece of paper down. Um, just always double check before you uh, start working because that will, um, you'll be happy that you did. You're never going to regret it. You won't regret that. All right, so um, I need to move, um, I need to move these things out of the way. So um, I'm not using little things for my last list. Uh, while I'm picking up, I'm just going to talk about our next list. So our next list, because it needs a little bit of explanation, because I always um, need to have this little bl blurb in there. Um, the next list is called In the News. So when it comes to in the news, I do a list every month about um, some of the news, things that were in the news the prior month. Um, I used to incorporate my in the news, whoopsie, with my about last month list. So my about last month lists are when I sit down, um, and just document with photos and a run-on list the things that happened the prior month, okay? So this one was for May 2023. I would have done this one in June. Um, when I first started doing this about last month concept, I was including um, things that were happening in my life, but then also including things that were happening in the news. And what I found was it was too much. So I don't know, maybe two years ago, it started separating them into two lists. So here's an example in the news. Um, in the news, I generally use a, I'll grab that in a minute. I generally use a, um, my in the news stamp set. I'm just going to use that a little bit in this list. I'm going to switch things up for um, this list this month. Um, one thing that's very important to me and hopefully it's important to you too, if you like being here and spending time here with me, is that when we do an in the news list, there is not chatter in the live chat about things that are in the news, okay? So I'll make this one very non-controversial. One of the newsworthy items that happened in, um, in the month of June was that the Denver Nuggets won the NBA championship. Now, some of you may say, oh, no, no, that's very controversial. Um, that is something that is on my list because that is a newsworthy item that happened in the month of June. Um, but what I ask is that you refrain from commenting or chatting in the chat about things that happen in the news because 
Um, I want this to be a place where everybody um, likes to be and feels comfortable and does not feel like it's political or does not feel like um, they, they have to read or listen to um, people's opinions about things, okay? Now, I give my opinion all the time about music, about food, about things like that, but when it comes to political things, uh, it's not something I'm going to do is give my opinion, and I ask you guys not to give um, your opinion as well. So it's basically just the facts, just the facts, just the facts, just the facts. And that's how I approach in the news. Um, I have in the Lail by Mail Facebook group, I keep saying I need to pin this, so I need to pin this. Um, I put together a, um, a PDF of a whole bunch of different news sources. Um, because every time I would do this list, people would say, where do, you, where do you get all your news? Where do you keep track of? Where do you find that? So there are a number of different um, free emails that you can sign up for where five or seven days a week, they will push you an email with the news things for that day. Um, and they are all over the board. So some are far left, some are far right, some are in the middle. So you might have NPR, you might have Fox News, you might have CNN. You might have 14, 1440, 1440. I think it's called 14, 1440. I think that's what it's called. Anyhow, um, I think that was the year the printing press was invented. That's why it's called 1440. Um, they cover all different perspectives. So I subscribe to a number of them. It doesn't matter which ones I subscribe to. It doesn't matter which ones you subscribe to. So there should be a very broad range based on the type of news that you want to see in terms of political leanings. Now. Um, I think there is one that is global, but most of them are US-based because that's just what I was able to find and know. And that's most of, you know, if you live in France or Barcelona, um, Spain, and you would like to find um, news for your area, then I'd Google it and you'll find something. But, all right, so that's the deal on In the News. Uh, let me grab the In the News stamp set and then also another stamp set. Hang on. I need to put this away, my little bin of stamping blocks that's on the floor that I keep kicking. There's a place for everything and everything in its place. All right, um, in the news, in the news. Um, I will show you this when, when we're done and I flip the camera, and I'll show you guys this one drawer. Um, but I'm certainly not ready to show everything yet, but I'll show you this drawer so you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, uh, in the news. So this is, I usually, here's an example, will use the typewriter stamp, um, the title, I lost my train of thought for a minute, typewriter stamp, title, but they all kind of start looking the same. So today I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna just switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, uh, drink break, thank you, Creative Cindy, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Mitzi, now I gotta go find out Brett, Brett Young. I need to go see. If it's August, I'm probably out of town. That's what keeps happening. Luke Bryan's coming, I'm out of town teaching. Um, Sting is coming back, I'm out of town teaching. John Mayer's coming back, I'm out of town teaching. Okay, so um, I am going to reverse this, so I'm going to do my, my writing over here and my photo here. So let's talk about photos. Uh, 99.9% .9 of the photos that you see me use in my traveler's notebooks are all printed on the same printer. And that is the Epson PictureMate PM400. That is linked in the description box of the video. That is an incredible little printer, especially for the price. Um, it prints five by sevens, four by sixes, and three and a half by fives. Um, it normally is 270. It has been on sale for 199. Uh, I want to say on, on Amazon, and this is only U.S. because I, Canada, as you guys are telling me, does different things. Um, but it is on sale right now for $1.99, which is a very, very, very good price for that printer. You don't see that price um, very often. Someone also told me that um, they have sold out on Amazon. However, um, they're still honoring that price, and it's a brand new, not refurbished. Um, they're still honoring the price. So you can still order it, and they will ship it to you when they're back in stock, and you don't get charged until you were shipped, until it's shipped. So the link for that is in the description box of the video. 
Um, I think what makes that printer so cool, well, first of all, I consider it portable. It's, you know, probably this big, maybe the size of like an iPad, right? I mean, and I know there's different sizes, but a standard size iPad, it's probably that size. And it's maybe about three inches tall. Um, prints those different sizes, but what's so cool about it, you can use um, the Epson picture, Epson Creative Print app with it on your phone to print um, different kinds of photos like this, okay? That is a five by seven photo paper, right? And I printed one, two, three photos in that five by seven using that app. So that app is a bunch of pre-configured templates. You don't have to know Photoshop. You don't have to know anything fancy. All you do is say, oh, I want to use that template. And then you push your photos into it on the app. That is how I do something like that. That's also a five by seven photo. Um, that one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, also five by seven photo. Now you could print these um, and cut them up if you wanted. So look at all those. One, two, three. Actually, this one would normally print three across, four down. Those are like two little two, sorry. They're smaller than two by twos, but little squares. So you can use them on a full sheet like that on a five by seven, or you could cut them up. Um, there is a list, um, an about last month list that I did in April, so not in this one, um, where I made photo strips. Let me just see really quick if I can find that. Anyhow, it's a pretty awesome little printer. And um, it's at a good price right now. Let's see. Uh, where are we? April. April. So this would be May. Okay. Oh, there we go. So look at. Um, I made little film strips. Though that was a five by seven. Okay. That was printed on a five by seven photo. So it was all like that. And then I just cut in vertical columns to make my little film strip. So um, it's awesome. But that's what I printed uh, this on, that photo. And I just picked the template that had one, two, three spaces in it. So um, even though there are a lot more things on my list this month, um, I just decided this time to change it up a little bit and do three. Um, Diane, I brought my Epson with me up north this week. Very transportable. And then you put a question mark. Um, so elaborate, elaborate on that. Um, Kathy, is the photo paper used um, that I used for 5 by 7s linked there? I'm not sure if it's linked in the description box of the video or not. I know um, some people were asking about it in the Facebook group, so I linked it there. When we're done, I'll go back and link it in the description box of the video just so it's easy. All right, so I already decided I am going to um, put this on the left page. Oh, transportable. Is transportable bird? Yes, I think it is, isn't it? Transportable, for sure. Um, there's also a very interesting thread in the Lail by Mail Facebook group uh, going around. I think Vicki Jones had shared it on how she transports hers. She uses a, um, like one of those insulated, like lunch bags. Um, so it's soft, insulated, and she fits it in there. So that, I thought that was fascinating. I love it when you guys share stuff like that. All right. So I have an old, um, well, not old, I bought it new, but it's, four or five years old now, um, a 31 bag that mine fits in if I want to take it somewhere with me. Okay, so this is a five by seven photo. I need to, um, I need to trim it down the width just a little bit, even though the inserts that I use are five by seven. This is a five by seven photo. I lose some millimeters right here, right? I lose some millimeters from the staples and then the further I get into an insert, I lose a few more millimeters. So I need to trim this down, narrow it down just a tad. So that's what I will start out doing. Um, there's another thing I did. Oh, don't go backwards like that. There is another thing that I did a little bit differently on this, um, on this one. There is a setting where you can modify the border modify the border or the white space between each of the photos. Uh, you know what, I, I have been saying I'm gonna do the video. It'll happen one day, friends, on the different things you can do in the app. I just need to stop, I need to stop staying when, because I think I disappoint people when I say, I'm gonna do it by next month, and then it doesn't happen. All right, anyhow, so I just um, 
I just narrowed that down a little bit and that will now fit fine. Um, this, I use two types of um, five by seven paper. I probably have it for four by six too. Um, one is a matte finish, so pure matte. I mean, it's almost like paper. It, it looks like paper, it feels like paper. So it is a pure matte finish. Um, and then another one I use is glossy. So I will add, I will add all the links for those. And I just get them all on Amazon. That's just for my life, that's just easy. And so that's what I do, but I'll, you know, then you can see what they are. And then if you find them somewhere else, you find them somewhere else. All right, I'm just going to rotate this. I rotated my photo. I'm rotating my book because I'm right-handed. It's a lot easier for me to do that way. Okay. Ooh, I still have some of that little adhesive out there. I don't like that. Okay, so there we go. There's a start. Now, this is going to look very different than I normally do that. Uh, Carla says she has luster photo paper. Luster's really nice too, right? Because um, it almost has like a little bit of a pearl finish. I mean, not pearl, but it, I don't know how to explain it, but luster is very nice too. Um, hi, Nancy. Nice to see you. Uh, Kelly said you're making two-hour trip a breeze. Love watching you. Where are you going, Kelly? Where are you headed? Okay. Um, so I'm totally, totally, totally mixing things up this time. I'm going to use, I'm just going to use one little stamp from this one. I am going to use, where did I put them? Oh, here. Okay. So as I took everything out of this room and started reorganizing everything, I came across, well, I, I have, I own lots of her stamps. She's like my, I, I, she's a dear, wonderful person, but I love, love, love her stamps. Um, Carrie Bradford. So I pulled out several of my large alphabets, extra large alphabets um, of Carrie's. Um, and so what I thought might be fun to do, what I thought would be fun to do would be to stamp N-E-W-S, probably like right here. And then I'm just gonna write the things below it. It'll be totally different. So if I did this one, N E. W S. I, I think I'm going to do this one. So let's see. This one is um, Max XL. So here's the thing, you guys, with Carrie stamps. Um, they are not evergreen. So um, they will sell out. And um, then in a lot of cases, she doesn't bring them back. The reason I bring that up is um, if you ever see one of her stamps that you really like, just I would just buy it because you don't know um, how long it's going to be around and then um, you don't want to miss out and then be sad because you couldn't find it later. N-E-W-S. All right. And she is a wonderful, dear person. I can't say enough amazing things about her. Um, Carrie and I go way, way, way back. Way back, like way back in the Creating Keepsakes days, um, the magazine. She was designing product uh, for them, and um, she had designed this really cool travel kit and reached out and said, hey, would you um, do something with this kit? And I said, uh, yeah, I'd love to, and I did. I think that's how I first met Carrie. Okay. N, so we'll go like this. N, it'll look like this. N, E, and then W, and then S. So it'll kind of be like that, all right? And then I'm gonna do a little newspaper next to it, I think. We'll see. Uh, all right, now I realized these are brand, well, not brand new, I've had them for years. I have not used all of these letters. What that means is I, I'm sure I haven't conditioned them all because back when I bought these, I didn't even know that was a thing that you needed a condition. So I'm starting off with um, a little white eraser. Okay, it's just a block eraser. And um, I need to then wipe that off because there's a little bit of eraser. I call them, erase, you know, a little bit like eraser shavings on there. When you, if you're using that method to um, condition your stamps, you don't want to have eraser tailings. What I mean by that is that you do not uh, want to end up with all those, you know when you erase something really hard and you get the little like pieces of eraser? You don't, that's too much. You're, you're erasing too much. You don't need to do that because um, it's going to just make it harder to clean. So um, I 
erased and then I cleaned off with my chamois and then I dried it with a um, with that microfiber towel. It's really important that I dried that right now because I am going to use it. I don't want, I don't, I do not want any um, moisture on that stamp at all or else it's going to um, react to the ink that I'm going to use. So what I thought I might do here, um, all right, so let's look at colors. There's kind of three predominant color, two. Two predominant colors that are really um, calling out here, right? Blue and orange. Uh, orange is all the fires in Canada. Um, I know they're still there, but I know in June they were really, really bad. Uh, obviously the Ocean Gate submarine and then affirmative action. So those were three photos that I have on my list. Um, so um, I don't know. Orange I think is going to be too in your face. Let's just look. Let's just look. So, I mean, look at ripe persimmon. Yeah, I mean, I could do that and put news, but that's probably a little bit more than I want to go with. So, um, to a Brazilian restaurant. Kelly, you're driving two hours to a Brazilian restaurant? Must be a pretty good restaurant, right? ATL Atlanta. Are you headed to Atlanta? I, th I think that's what you mean by ATL, yeah? All right, so then I have a bunch of blues here. So let's go to our blues and see if we wanted to use a blue. I mean, look at it. Mermaid Lagoon could work. Uh, salty Ocean could work. It's, I kind of like Salty Ocean. Blueprint Sketch, man, I mean, it could work. Prize Ribbon could work. Well, Prize Ribbon, I think I'm going to give Prize Ribbon. Prize Ribbon is basically just, I mean, it's almost that exact color there. Let's go with Prize Ribbon. Okay, so I need to find Prize Ribbon. I need to have some more iced tea. Hang on. My mouth is feeling very dry. Holy cow, it's two o'clock. We have been at this for forever. I love it. I just love our Saturdays so much, you guys. It just, um, I mentioned this quite a bit, but um, for anyone that has a job or business in the industry, um, like this, like crafting industry, um, for me, the crafting is my business, right? Um, and when I'm not, when I'm not designing classes or, you know, working with product, I'm thinking about it, right? So I don't have a lot of time, uh, that I get to play where it's not for business and this is play. And that's what I get to do here on Saturdays. And I love it so much. I love it, love it, love it so much. So I always like to say thank you for letting me do it because this just play. Only time that it's not work that I get to just play and have fun and play with different things. All right, so if we go here, ooh, okay, I'm a little worried, but let's just see what happens. I think I'll be okay, but we'll know in a minute. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I am not okay, friends. Okay, I'm gonna explain to you in a minute why I'm not okay. <laughs> um, I knew that as soon as I put it down. The reason why I should not have put that stamp in the center of the block. I should have put it right over here, right? I should have put it right over here because part of that block was here, which meant I could not get a stamped, um, I, there, this was all air, right? It was air because it was lifting up over here. No worries. Uh, I like it when this happens sometimes because then we can talk about what you would do to fix it. All right, so I needed to clean that off and I'm drying it again because I need to move it. And I did not want to pick it up with um, all that ink on it. So I need to move it. I need to move it over here. It needs to be uh, on this side of the stamp. So that when I stamp like that, then it is, I've got plenty of room. So I moved it. There is probably there's such a little amount of ink that's there and because I'm using an, a, a photopolymer stamp and I'm using a clear acrylic block that I can probably know exactly where to place that and stamp it again. So I'm going to try that. Wanda said use whiteout. I could. I could use whiteout for sure. Um, I could put a full piece of cardstock over that page and work at it again. Um, but I think because there's so little there is so little that was stamped there. I think I'm going to be okay. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Creative Cindy said, wait, 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 wait. 
I'm gonna go. I'm going. Okay, am I stamping on the page? I am stamping on the page. I am stamping on the page. I wanted to stamp on the page. There we go. Okay, so look it. Um, and you know what? If I didn't tell you this, you wouldn't know. And no one else would know either uh, because they would never know when they see this list later. Look at the end. You see there's just a little tiny bit of overlap. Little, little tiny bit, but it's not bad at all. No one would ever know. So we're good. We are good. We, um, we recovered. We safely recovered. Oh, no, I'm okay. All right. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to well, really quick dry it off really quick. And this goes back on the sheet because I'm not using it again. And then we'll go to our E and then our W and our S to spell the word news. Won't it? Um, so uh, it will show through to the other side, but I'm not worried about it because I haven't done a list there yet. So when I go to do a list here, then it will just be one like this where I uh, put a background down first. So we're okay. That blue is kind of fun, huh? I don't know if I've used I used prize ribbon before. That's a beautiful color. It is a nice color. Um, all right. So it, we were talking earlier about um, we were talking earlier about uh, when you get a new stamp set, and this is not new, but I know I haven't. Um, I know I have not conditioned everything, so I'm just going to do all of them. Um, as I use them. When you get a brand new stamp set, uh, it is, I think, easiest to condition all the stamps at once. And in that case, I would just take this whole thing, do my eraser over the top of it, get it all erased. Did I just erase that? I don't remember. I think I did, but I don't know. Um, to condition all the stamps at once when they're brand new. That way, there's no question. That way, there's no question. I think I already did all that, but... Um, no, wait, what, 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 what? Oh no, Creed of Cindy, never, never, never. Oh no, no, no. Um, she said, thank you, I apologize, just trying to help. Oh my gosh, no. No, 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 don't apologize. There's no need to apologize whatsoever. I'm probably more times than not, you guys are saying, hold on, and you catch me because I'm about ready to do something um, that I don't wanna do, so absolutely not. No, 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 don't apologize. Um, I like that you brought that up because a lot of times that gives me an opportunity to say, oh, this is what Cindy means by that. We should always make sure that we're not about ready to mess something up. Um, if I was over here, absolutely I would have wanted you to say something because if I was stamping here, I would totally have ruined this list on the other side because it would have shadowed or ghosted through. And I know I'm off center. I know I'm off center, but that's okay. Uh, because there was something I was going to do. We'll see if I still do it. Yeah, no, no. Hopefully, Cindy, I didn't make you feel bad. That was not my intent at all. If I did, I apologize. I'm the one who's sorry. <laughs> Kelly, they'll never know. Yeah, you know that? They're gonna know. They'll never know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. All right. Um, we were talking before, and I'm, I'm going to back on Wanda for a minute. Um, Wanda said that she prefers uh, stickers, alphabet stickers. Um, one of the benefits of alphabet sticker over stamping, obviously it goes much quicker, right? Um, much quicker. So it's a trade-off. If you have alphabet sticker and you have the right color and you have the right size and you have all the letters and, 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 um, it definitely much faster, right? I mean, we would have been done with this list by now because I would have um, already just put the letters down and moved on. Um, so that is one, definitely one of the, I won't say downsides, but it's just one of the trade-offs. How about that? One of the trade-offs is when you are stamping um, trade-off because it does take more time, but you also have a lot more flexibility because you are um, using uh, the color I want um, or I am using the color I want. So we've got the color I want. We have the, um, I don't have to worry about running out of any letters. Um, you know, obviously I'm only using four letters here, but color and size. Okay, N-E-W-S. And I am just cleaning as I go. That's just, I think it's, it's just so much easier to get in that habit of 
clean as you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, in some things in life for me, not for sure not in, uh, I mean, well, when I'm live streaming, it's harder to clean as I go just because, um, you know, you want, I, nobody wants to watch me clean. What kind of fun is that? Oh, good. Creative Cindy said, we're all good. I still love you. I have an alphabet stamp addiction. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I didn't want to, I never want to make anyone feel bad. You guys know that. Um, yes, I have an alpha stamp addiction too. I most certainly do. I also have a Carrie Bradford stamp addiction. I own many, many, many of her stamps. Many, many, many. And you guys know, I like to support, talk about all this time. I like to support, um, it's gonna sound funny. I like to support people like me. I like to support uh, small businesses that are owned by women. Uh, so Carrie, um, I like to support Pretty Little Studio, Melissa, uh, um, Jessica at Color Cast Designs. Um, there's lots of them, lots and lots and lots of them. So um, what I'm going to do really quick, you notice I checked my fingers. Um, it is always a good idea before you move on to double check to make sure that your fingers are not inky. Now, in some cases you want inky fingers. I don't know if you're doing mixed media or whatever, um, but I do not want to have inky fingers because if I have inky fingers, as soon as I go to, um, as soon as I go to work on that, I will end up with blue fingerprints on there and I don't want it. So I always have just a package of wipes here in my craft room. Um, if you are stamping and want to have like a damp paper towel or you want to go in the other room before you, um, before you, uh, do anything, good idea to double check your hands, do a quick hand check to make sure that you are good. All right. So we're good there. Now I am going to take, um, I have a question. I have a request of you guys, um, working on always, always, always new stamps. Um, so would not be for the August release, but um, a release probably later this year. So maybe October, um, a new or add on, probably a new, uh, in the new stamp set, just to kind of broaden and expand upon, uh, that. So I would love to know what you guys would like to see in a, like in the news too, type stamp set. So either put it in the chat or put it in the comments, or even if you want to shoot me an email, if you go to the website and um, click on contact us. Oh, that also reminds me of something. Um, it had been on my list of things to do for the website for a while. And it just, you know, it was a nice to have, not a have to have. Um, I, um, oh, to put a wish list on there, right? To put a wish list so that you could um, keep track of things that you wanted to buy, or you could send a link to someone in your world, in your life of maybe it's your birthday or something like that. And they say, what do you want? And you're like, oh here, here's my wish list. There is now, um, so somebody last week emailed me um, and was very complimentary and then said, hey, I would really love it. Have you ever considered adding a wish list functionality? And I'm like, you know what? And I did it right then. Um, so there is now wish list functionality in the website website. So for every product, you'll see a little red bar that says wish list and you click on it and then I guess you can add it to your wish list. Um, all right. So last thing now I'm going to use this guy. So I was thinking maybe, okay, we're, we're going to test something here. We're testing, testing, testing an idea I have. What if we did like a newspaper, 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 because that little newspaper is too small to go all by itself. But what if I just did um, three little newspapers there? I think I'm going to do it. Let's try it. Um, hold on. Uh, Talia, let's talk about that for a minute. Okay, hold on. I'm going to back up for a second. Uh, Nancy said, I never had the confidence to stamp before, but with Lael's encouragement in her layouts, I now love to use her stamps. The quality of her stamps is amazing. Thank you, Nancy. Um, all of my stamps are ba uh, manufactured in the U.S. and they're photopolymer stamps. That is a big, big difference. Um, if you see uh, stamps at, let's just say, like Hobby Lobby and they're, let's say, 
two dollars for 800 stamps i know i'm over exaggerating there but um generally not made in the u.s and also not photopolymer acrylic there's a big difference in quality of stamps between acrylic and photo photopolymer so if you've ever wondered gosh why are some stamps so much more expensive than others that's why the difference between acrylic and photopolymer and you get a much better uh, for the most part um stamped image um, and a lot more clarity um, and a lot more um, finer detail with a photopolymer stamp and set. So thank you, Nancy. And I love that you are stamping. I love, love, love that. Um, Talia said, just finished giving my Carrie Alphas a bath. Kept losing letters off the sheet. Scary. So let's talk about that for a second. Um, and I'll talk about it with the stamp just because I have it here. The, the way that your stamps stick to the stamping block is um, they're like plastic on plastic, right? Um, this is sticky, but it's not like sticky, sticker, sticky, it's sticky. And you put it on there and it sticks until you pull it off and then you don't need it to stick anymore. Um, over time, that may stop sticking. The stickiness may um, kind of not be sticky anymore. Um, you need that to be sticky for two reasons. Number one, if you are um, doing this on your ink pad, this little stamp could then ink, stick on your ink pad and then you have to get it off, right? Then you've got to pick it off and you get ink all over your hands or whatever. And that's not the end of the world. But um, more, more kind of importantly, the little worse is if you are stamping, getting your ink on, and then you go to stamp like this and it falls off because it's not sticky anymore. That's not a good thing. The other reason it's not a good thing is if it stops sticking to the block, it's probably also going to stop sticking to the little sheet and then you lose it. Um, it's really easy to fix. It is very easy to fix. Um, normally in here, I have a little spray bottle. I know that's still downstairs, but I'll use my little chamois. The reason it stops sticking is that over time you're getting dust and lint build up on the back of the stamp. So not the image part of the stamp, it's the back of the stamp that sticks to the things. So all you have to do is get a little bit of water or a little cloth or something like that, in this case I'm using the chamois, and wipe it off. It's just dusty, right? It's just dusty. So all you have to do is wipe that off, either let it dry or dry it off. Hi Janelle, nice to see you. Um, dry that off and now it's all sticky again. So um, that's just kind of a little, um, you know, prevention of keeping your stamps in a good, um, keeping your stamps in a good, uh, yeah, that way, keeping your stamps in good condition so that um, they last for a long time, right? Um, there are code, yes, Kathy, um, there is a code. Uh, right now it's for the month of July and um, I think it's 5Xmas23 and that takes you $5 off your order of $25 or more. Just go to the website. Um, when you get there, you'll see an image, um, like a banner on the front page and then it'll tell you the code right there. But I think it's 5Xmas23, I want to say. All right, here we go. I, why am I doing that? Um... Usually I go the other way. I said I apply the ink to the stamp instead of the stamp to the ink. Unless I'm working with a really small block, then I reverse it. It's just easier for me to hang on to. So this is what I'm thinking here. Oh, and you know what's funny? I just realized I didn't test stamp any of the other ones. Did I? I tested the end because I can see that right there. So that's what I'm thinking. I would just do those three little things right there. Okay, the three, oops, I flipped you guys off. I'm so sorry. My little finger flipped you off there. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. So that will go there. Here's a little trick too. I am going to do the top one first. And then I'm going to do the bottom one next. And then I know where to put the one in the middle. Okay, there we go. There's my three little newspapers. Three little newspapers in the news. And now it's not going to say in the news, it's just going to say news, but we know that's what it's doing, right? All right. And then, because I can't not outline, because that's what I always do, right? We will bring in this little guy, and I'm just going to Draw that little line right there because that will separate now what is going on my list. 
That will separate what is going on my list. So um, I will do this as a run-on list, meaning I'm just going to write, 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 write. But I need a, um, I need a um, bullet stamp. I need a bullet stamp. So let's put this guy away. And grab a bullet stamp. Don't let me forget when we're done, I'll put the camera in and show you. Well, I'll take it off and you can see one of the drawers. Okay, let's see what we want to do here. I'm getting the bullet stamps out again. Let's look at bullets and more. Um, Newsies, so I don't remember that movie, Roberta. Newsies, I don't. Oh my goodness, it's 2.30. Holy moly, we're just working away. Uh, let's see what we might want to use, if there's something here. What if we did a, what if we did a, um, well, we could do a little pencil. Little, there's a little teeny pencil here. There is a larger pencil. In fact, there's two larger pencils on the, um, on the in the news stamp set but i want little bullets so maybe we'll do like a little pencil um here is a, a very um useful tip that i did not come up with martine did um she is is you know one of you guys that um hangs out with us um a couple months ago someone asked a question on when you are working with the little bullet stamp how do you um hang on i gotta think about how i want that to work how do you get the stamp in the same position every time when you're using the stylus in a little teeny stamp? Because you really can't see, right? You really can't see. So um, I thought this was genius. Um, Martine came back into the Facebook group, or came into the Facebook group um, a couple days later and said, I thought about it and I figured out something that I think works really well. And then she shared this with us. So. What she said is she takes the stylus, let me just look at this really quick. She takes the stylus and she added a little sticker. So I added just a little clear flower sticker right there. And that every time you stamp, you wanna make sure that that sticker is in the same place, okay? So as long as that sticker's in the same place, then you know your bullet stamp is always in the right place. So like this, I'll bring this up to the camera in a sec. There are the little pencils. And because I was just making sure that that flower sticker was always in the same place, I know exactly where to position that every time. I thought that was genius. So that I will use that little trick here. The first little bullet news item on my list um, is, I've got to come in here to my, um, to my little fancy dancy Handy dandy notebook. So look it, there we go. There's my in the news. Look how funny. There's my newspaper. Uh, a, um, I am not a drawer in case you ever had any question. That's my newspaper, not a butterfly. That is a newspaper, so not good. Um, there's my list. So uh, as I just start writing and I just accumulate these things throughout the month. And so I have one big list of lists going on for in the news item, in the news items. Um, the debt ceiling in the US was increased. Okay, now remember, um, no comments from the peanut gallery, including myself. Uh, so these are, ooh, I've got blue all over me. These are just the facts, just the factual things that happened uh, in the news during the month of June. Um, train, Crash in India killed 280 plus people and injured more than a thousand. Back to our pencil. Um, former vice president, we'll just do vice pres, 
Mike Pence launched his 2024 presidential campaign. So I, um, I have a running note on my phone. I have a running note on my phone and when something comes up in the news, I add it to it. And then uh, on Saturday morning before we start, I write those things down here. Um, that's a really easy way for me to keep track on things because I always have my phone with me. Um, some of them, some of the things that are on the, that end up on my list is because I've heard them on the news. I've heard them on the Today Show. I've um, received an email from a number of um, different news outlets. Um, and so then I just pull things and add them to my list from there. Um, uh, the PGA... Uh, the PGA Tour, I'll say golf, PGA Golf Tour merged with um, the Saudi Bat Live Golf. If you are a golfer or you follow golf, that was, whoopsie, hmm, what am I writing now? Live <laughs> Golf. Um, that was a very controversial um, thing that took a lot of people off guard. I just had thought that was a newsworthy event. Um, former President Trump indicted on federal charges um, on, I guess, mis mishandling classified documents. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to do one more of these, and then I think we are going to um, um, massive fires in Canada. So um, I'll do one more. Um, where I get the photos, let's talk about photos, because I always have photos with my in the news things. I just Google, right? So um, these were three things in June that um, were newsworthy. Um, and so I Googled Ocean Gate uh, submarine or submersible and found a photo and saved that to my camera roll. And the same thing for wildfires in, in Canada and the same thing for Supreme Court ruling on affirmative action. And so then I just use those. I, these are never my own photos. Obviously I wouldn't have any of those photos. So that's usually what I do. Um, just find them on Google. Um, all right, two more. Uh, there were two, well, many people died, but um, Pat Robertson, the, um, well, I think I know him as like a televangelist, right? Pat Robertson and Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber. K-A-C-Z-Y-N-S-K-Y uh, passed away. All right, so I'm going to stop there. Um, one thing I am going to do very quickly though, I am going to write here uh, I'm going to just put a little asterisk here and write prize ribbon ink so that when I finish this list up, I'm not going, oh my gosh, what ink did I use here? I'm not like, oh, I don't remember what ink I used, prize ribbon. So I will finish that up. Um, but that's, I'll pretty much just continue what I'm doing. And then somewhere on there, I will write June. So we know that it's June uh, from the in the news. Okay, friends, um, I am going to uh, turn off the studio lights, which work like a charm, my new LED lights, loved, loved, loved those. 
Um, what a huge difference heat-wise in here. I can't even tell you what a huge difference that has made. So, very pleased with that. Okay, I'm going to unplug here. Cindy has to take the dog out. Okay, and now I'm going to rotate the camera. Okay, here we go. Rotating. There's the new part of the room. Well, the whole room's new, but that's the part that you can see. Um, all right, I am going to, well, let me say our goodbyes. And oh, you know what? And I didn't even talk about um, second prize. Okay, let's do this. Um, so that, these are after party prizes. Um, so after party, meaning that, I'm sorry, somebody's walking across our yard. Uh, meaning that you um, leave a comment on the video when it's over, and that's how um, I pick random. Uh, next Saturday, before we start, randomly pick winners, and then I let you know. Uh, so, let's do four prizes today, since I totally forgot last week. One of them is Lail by Mail Idea Book. If you already have it, then I send you a coupon code for the uh, amount of the ID book. Uh, second one, let's do it in the new stamp set. Third one, let's do, um, third one, let's do, how about in the box, the new in the box stamp set. And fourth one, let's do it's a date. So um, those four prizes, Lail by Mail Idea Book or Listing with Lail Idea Book, uh, in the news, uh, in the box, and it's a date, lots of eyes. Uh, the way you participate, leave a comment on the video when it's over and next Saturday I will draw four random lucky winners. Now I need to write that down because I won't remember all those. Idea Book. Uh, in, in the box, it's a date, bear with me one sec, it's a date, and I'm in the news, okay. All right, friends, so um, if you would like to stick around for a minute, I will take the camera off of the stand and I will show you in one of the drawers because somebody had said, hey, when we're done, would you let us just see a sneak peek? So we're going to do that, okay? Um, you guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, hopefully you stay cool if it's very warm where you are. Um, super important to stay hydrated, right? Um, got to, got to drink, got to drink, got to drink. Uh, so enjoy the rest of your weekend and I hope to see you. Well, I'll be here again on um, Wednesday night for What's New Wednesday to show you some more new products. And then uh, for sure next Saturday. So that will be uh, Saturday, July 22nd. So if you would like to join me then, I hope to see you. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's uh, pull this off and hang on. Oh, so what'll be interesting, friends? Uh, 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 hang on. Let me do that. I gotta, um, oopsie, okay. So um, it will not let me show you um, I can still show you, but it will not let me rotate vertical since I started the video uh, horizontal. So this will may look a little bit odd, but just know. Okay, here we go. So well, I'll just show you this part because you probably saw a photo. Um, along this wall, I'll back way up, okay? And then it goes all the way down there. So everything's enclosed except for that little open decorating area. I'm still working on the top shelf. Um, Every one of those cabinets has obviously things going on Then these first four, one, two, three, four, all have drawers that pull out. The first two um, have six drawers. Uh, the second two, or no, the first two have six drawers. This one will have three and the next one will have three. So high drawers, right? So starting with a bunch of stamps here, little dividers, and then they pull out. Like, look at that. Look at that, has all of my um, markers and colored pencils and things like that, all nice and organized. And then still, this is just um, some of those drawer dividers because nothing is happening there yet. So there you go. That's a little peek into, into things. And I'll just show you. This is what it looks like from my end. Uh, nothing has happened over there yet, right? Nothing has happened over there. I've not put anything there still. That's kind of still in the works. And then look at, here we are. Here we are. This is where we were working. Okay, friends, I am going to sign off. Um, thanks for joining me today. That was like a marathon session. Uh, lots and lots of hours. So I'm going to go grab something to eat, uh, have some more hydration, and then come back and clean this up. And then come back and keep uh, putting things away so we can get organized so I can do a full uh, like studio tour, walkthrough, and all that um, on a video. All right, friends, uh, take care. I've got to... Um, switch hands and um, see you later. Bye.